Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari homebrew. Atari? But tonight, tonight, mm. there's no Atari homebrew. No. Sorry. It's <laughs> Intellivision Night. Yay. Yes, we're doing a special show highlighting, showcasing the Intellivision that is sitting in front of us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be playing two homebrew games for the Intellivision, which are very exciting, in fact. Uh, Intellivania, which is a Castlevania port. That already sounds like that's super exciting. Super exciting. Yeah, yeah. And then we're playing Jump King Jr., uh, which is a port <clears throat> of Jumpman Jr. Audio not in sync? Lies. Lies. Should be. Audio was in sync for me. Oh. Pitoko. Oh. Pitoko, <laughs> restart your engine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lies, Rob Kassler says. I'll do it again, but uh, it should be fine. There, good. Oh, you're freaking me out. Uh, that would have been uh, the first time in a very long time. F5, yeah. <laughs> Please press F5 if your audio is out of sync. Mm. Um, so yeah, we are going to be playing on the brand new upgraded Intelligent <laughs> Intellivision RGB system that has nice. been upgraded by Crossbow oh, slash yay, Jesse you, slash Crossbow. Ivory Tower Collections. That's awesome. Um, Intellivania is uh, from 2020, so it's a fairly new homebrew. And Jump King Jr. Mm. is from 2018. Mm. Um, but first I want well, to thank... Relatively new, yeah. Relatively new yeah. homebrews. Um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling down the side That's right. of Tanya's yeah. heart t-shirt. Yes, it is cross-stitched. Yes, it is really I cool shirt. Close, you did say it was stained somewhere, but what? I don't... <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to point that out. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't know what that's for. Okay. Um, I want to thank uh, 8-Bit <laughs> Swami, Alan the Fur Arms Guard, Coder, Atari Age, BR Pocock, Buck Owens, Caffeine Man 2D, Canadian, Tanner Charles and Check, Charles Wynn, Chive 5, Crossbow, DNO, Den AVC, Gr Dr. Moo Cows, Great Offender, Gretam Drunk, uh, ground Trooper, today. <laughs> uh, Jedekai, Johnny WC, Carl G, Croco 2600, Mark's mm -hmm. Basic, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mystific, Pack Rat, PG, Kohog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pym, Six Sweet, Yay. Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, D Train, Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and X Can X. So many names. Mm -hmm. And if you want to support the show and give your money, Half to Amazon, half to me, send Bezos into space and <laughs> supply me with more homebrew games. Uh, you can do that by clicking subscribe. It mm -hmm. is free if you have Amazon Prime. Yeah. If you don't, well, you don't have to pay, but you can follow us. Yes, intelligent television is That's what right. it is the concatenation for. Yeah. Um, actually, it wouldn't be a concatenation because those would be full words. I don't know what that word would be. Where it takes part of one word and part of another and puts them together. Because it's not like... Uh, um, I'm blanking on what the actual definition of concatenation is. It's two words. Two full Contraption? words. Contraption? <laughs> is it contraction? Is it a contraction? Yeah. Contraction, that, actually. That would be true. I think you found the word broadcast. No, you said contraption, but contraction. <laughs> that might have been a typo. Um, because it is contraction. Isn't is it? it a contraction? I don't know. Portmanteau. That's I don't know. My, it's called marketing. Yeah, yeah it is called marketing. <laughs> um, um, and you can follow us if you like, so you know when we're going to be on and uh, doing special shows like this. And we'll just start the poll right now so people can get their uh, questions or answers in. Mm. And it has to do with Intellivision because this is the first time we've ever played the Intellivision on the stream. Mm. We normally play Atari. If you're here for the Intellivision, uh, welcome. Um, we normally play Atari 2600, 7800, 5200, 8-bit, but this is the first Atari, uh, in television stream. Um, the poll <laughs> is... I like number four, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the poll is, do you have an Intellivision? Yes. <laughs> uh, number one is, I did when I was younger, but not now. Hmm. Uh, number two is, yes, I do. Hmm. Uh, number three is, sadly, no. And number four is, did you mispronounce Atari? <laughs> <laughs> Because I think you're confused. Mm. Um, so here I showed off the Intellivision uh, last uh, stream, but uh, we can use the webcam. We're going to use the webcam extensively mm -hmm. this episode to kind of show things off. Hi, Kitty. Um, so I'll give you the webcam if it does reach over there. I hope so. 
Am I, don't am I pull pulling on it, it out? Don't pull on it hard. Um, you can see the cat. <laughs> you can show off the cat for now. Yeah, there he is. He's like, ooh, I have shelter here. There he is. Come here. Come here. Be cute. Be cute. Oh. And we're going to show off what the Intellivision <laughs> is. It's street time. Yum, yum, oh. yum, yum. <laughs> That's very inopportune. <laughs> Um, no, we're going to delay treat time for just a little bit. We will give them treats. We though. will give them treats. But thank you, Charles Whelan. They will get their treats. And they're all crazy right now. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's cute. <laughs> oh, so Look at him. Look cute. at him licking his lips. <laughs> so cute. Yes. Um, so here's the Intellivision. <laughs> Poor cat. And um, this is the port that... Ivory Tower Collections installed. It is uh, using the connector mm -hmm. for uh, Genesis 2, mm -hmm. a connector that goes to uh, SCART, which is a European connector okay. uh, that uh, Europe used for televisions okay. um, that can carry composite yeah. and also, I don't know if it carries S video, but it carries RGB okay. um, and mm. audio as okay. well. So it's been repurposed for this. Um, got a cartridge. There's a cartridge port there very on the nice. side. And it has very unique controllers, uh, the Intellivision. You can see that instead of a joystick, it has a disc. And right, uh, it's very odd. <laughs> it is it's very, a very, very odd. odd. Controller. Um, and it has a 16 directional disc oh, okay. okay so not four directions not yeah. eight but actual 16 but yours is rgb and audio only no composite on yours yes that is correct um but that that cable can uh carry it and it also has a number pad built in mm -hmm. which is actually really cool yes because you can use it for different types of games or punching in you know information it also has uh two buttons on the left of the controller and two buttons on the right of the controller. The top two buttons are are the same button. And the bottom two are actually different. Oh, really? It has a left and right bottom okay. and then a top button. Oh, so you can, depending if you're left or right-handed, maybe? Yes. And um, and if you want to, you know, add extra buttons, you, could, you can have three buttons on the, to on the top side. And there's two controllers uh, on this one. And they are wired in, which is a choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you can disconnect them from inside. Gotcha. To repair them or replace oh, them. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um, and it just has a reset button and on and off. Very nice. So it doesn't have all the extra buttons because I guess they figured, well, you don't need them because there's a whole keypad here. That's true. If you want to do... You can program anything. And don't forget the awesome control overlays. Yeah. Yes, we'll get to that when we open up the games. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but they do slip in underneath the buttons here mm -hmm. uh, on top of the buttons but underneath this place piece of plastic yeah oh, so geez. that you can like define the buttons. so it's not one it's like uh change weapon mm. and it'll say weapon or a little symbol on there nice. and so you can um do a lot with it so you don't have to memorize oh seven is blah or whatever um so very uh very interesting and also they had some aftermarket things you could stick on the discs that oh. made them into joysticks <clears throat> yeah. i think i've seen those before yeah i do want to get them yeah um uh if anybody is knowledgeable about them will they wreck this disc part like if you put them on and then remove them after i mean it's the adhesive right that becomes a problem yeah and if uh oh yeah intelligent television mm -hmm. and it was made by Mattel. Mattel, who made toys. They wanted to get into the video game market. Yeah. Um, Did Mattel do anything but the else but other than the Intellivision? They made a lot of handheld uh, games yes, before yes. this. But no other consoles. No, no mm. other consoles. So I think that'll be good for now. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a look at other things. So now the cats can have some treats. Yes, they can. He has, Atari's just, you probably heard him crying. Oh my goodness, that was fast. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? Where's the bell? I need the bell. Is that straight? There we go. 
Hungry okay. Cats. Hungry cats. Let's plug this back in so we can actually play. Oh, you kick them out. No, they'll be back. And in greater numbers. Come on. There we go. Okay, yeah, I heard the I heard it. You got it. There Did you, go. you? I didn't hear it. Oh, he bell. hit the bell. I didn't hear no bell. He hit the bell. I should move him over a little. Okay, so we'll be playing it through the retro tank because it seems to be fairly agreeable mm -hmm. through the retro tank. Um, okay, back to our regularly scheduled program, programming. So, um, like I said, Ivory Towers uh, upgraded this to RGB using the Yannick 1.2 RGB board, of which there are none left anywhere. Uh, Yannick is Y A N N A R O S on Atari Age. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to show a very short little video, not on how he did it, but, you know, just some, so you can see what the board looks like. So there's the board. Um, and then, oh, there's the board. Nice. Actually, I should go back to that because it actually had the um, Genesis connector on the screen as well. And a whole bunch of information. Um, so you can see right here. He is um, wiring it up to the uh, Genesis oh. output, and there's yeah. another breakout board, and I believe this is the actual uh, Yannix board there. Um, so if you want to know how to do it yourself, there's great instructions. It looks instructions. great. I mean, with the with the highlighting of what he's soldering yeah. too. It's like where to where, which which uh, <laughs> wires go to where. Yeah. Hideous. Oh my goodness. Very, very nice. And I have used his instructions for upgrading some of my systems mm -hmm. as well. So hopefully um, Crossbow doesn't uh, mind me showing that off. Oh, and he says, speaking of, Yannick's new version 2.0 boards are now tested and ready to be produced. I might have some in the coming months. Mm. So if you want your Intellivision upgraded to beautiful output, then um, you'll be able to get that done through him. A hair hanging down. <laughs> My hair? That I can't. Probably. Yeah, maybe. It looks pretty blonde. <laughs> oh, I see. Eh, not too long. Mm. Long enough. Um, so we're going to be playing homebrew games, which uh, are new games mm -hmm. for old systems. And there's actually a fairly decent like home, catalog? homebrew catalog oh. for uh, Intellivision games. And. Uh, this this page that I found on Intellivision Revolution uh, has a pretty good list. I'll just uh, wish I could just paste and press enter at the same time. Um, and some of the bigger ones are uh, Electronite, Intelligent Vision, and Intellivision Revolution. And uh, Intellivision Revolution is the one. Wow. So here's Electronite. Wow. So fair fair amount there. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, Intelligent Vision even more mm -hmm. and uh intellivision revolution is the biggest one mm -hmm. for releasing games and the games we're going to be playing tonight jump king jr and televania are both from there uh yeah it seems to be right up to date so i'm noticing the release dates it's That's... a lot in the 2010s so is this a more recent homebrew uh system like oh, there's 2005 there, i'm not there. saying there aren't some older ones but a lot of them seem on the more recent yeah. side. yeah i mean as more tools become available it becomes more accessible makes it easier makes mm -hmm. it easier uh, to make homebrew games and there's more information about making homebrew games yeah um it just makes it a lot easier that's very cool um so hey maybe it hasn't even hit its peak yet then yeah. Um, so there's a lot. There you is can't, a lot. You can't sort them, but um, <laughs> well, yeah. I'd like to sort them by year so you could actually see how it increases. But see, there's a 2021 there. Mm -hmm. Antarctic Tales, Frankenstein's Monster, uh, Intellivania. It was actually released in 2020. Um, but uh, I don't know why they put 2020. Maybe there's an official release or I, second release or something. Yeah, because it, 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 there was a second run of it, but it yeah. came out in November 2020. Maybe got delivered in 2021. Maybe. Um, let's see. Uh, knee Felter. There, I don't know what that is. Un Unlucky Ponies Adventures. <laughs> um, so there's at least four there, or wow. five. That's just one company. That's yeah, quite a bit. Yep. Um, dude, dude, dude. 
uh, maybe you could save the page or copy to paste in Excel or Sheets. Mm. Yeah, you could probably copy copy them and then paste them and then do a sort and then mm -hmm. you'd be able to find it. Because I think usually it translates pretty well into like Excel. Often um, the tables do. I mean, yeah. sometimes they're... They get uh, yeah. uh, annoying. <laughs> cut. You have to cut and paste without any formatting and then usually you are you might be okay in that case. Yeah. Um, and the... I do a lot of Excel work. <laughs> The cartridge you want to get, yeah. and pretty much this is the cartridge for playing homebrew games, the ones you can download and buy off the internet, is from uh, is an LTO Flash cart. And I've, I've showed this on the show before. Um, so I'll show you this. There's the LTO Flash cart. And it's got a USB uh, on the side. And you can load games onto it uh, using your computer and you can actually buy games mm. to put on this as well nice. because each of these are serialized each of them has a number mm. so you tell them your number they imprint that number on your uh, ROM that you download and when you put it, it on here yeah. it only works on this one pretty smart. and I believe they also can if you sell it it'll go from this one to another one, maybe, mm. or they disable it, maybe not. I don't know, but um, that's a really good way of making sure people don't pass it around mm -hmm. um, too easily, and uh, yeah, keeping it so there's not a lot of pirating well, maybe, going on. Well, maybe maybe when you sell it, you're selling the games you have on it too. So oh yes, because they would be attributed would to the yeah. Movie. So yeah, it would get more valuable <laughs> each one as as you build up a yeah. game collection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you can load on any any ROMs as well, mm. not not ones that are just serialized for this specific one. Cool, cool. cool. Yeah, and that's the. Uh, I don't know if that kind of system exists on other consoles. This is the only one I know of. Like the Atari ones are just like it's open. Yeah. Um, I can see them implementing it on the Plus Cart because the Plus Carts have individual numbers. Mm -hmm. Plus, the Plus Cart has a store too that you could only play them when you log onto the internet yeah. and you're actually playing them over the internet yeah. because that kind of has local storage. Yeah. You can transfer things yeah. to it. Okay. But, yeah. Mm. Uh, no SD card needed. Yes, there's no SD card on it, but it has a lot of internal. Yeah. Like Crossbow says, it's able to store the entire library seven times, several mm -hmm. times over. It's because it's so cheap mm -hmm. to have uh, memory on things now for, especially for old games. Mm. But we're not going to be using this because I have the actual cartridges. So we have the retail boxes Ooh, for these two fancy. games. Oh, also, fancy, if fancy. you notice my shirt, yeah. I'm actually finally able to wear it. I bought this a long <laughs> You've time ago. You've been waiting. Ago You've been waiting. Because this is the Jumpman character. Okay. And we're playing Jump King Jr. tonight. Uh, yep. Nice. Yep. So happy for yep. that. Yeah. You're on theme. A very on theme. On theme. Um, so, what do I else I have in here? I think we're going to get into the game pretty quick here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, it's time for Intellivania. Um, so this was put out in 2020. I have the retail copy here of Intellivania. Uh, this is my, by Matthew Keel, known as Skywaffle on Atari Age. That's a great name. <laughs> yes. Skywaffle. And other games he's made, Dragon Quest. These are all for Intellivision. Uh, Intellivania, Jump, Mega Man 2, Paperboy, Prince of Persia, Roboblast, Shadow of the Beast, and Super Mario Brothers. So he does a lot of ports. Clearly, uh, yeah, yeah. And they look really good. Good. The Intellivision. Uh, Crossbow says, I have a t-shirt with the Intellivision Running Man on it. Nice. Very nice. Um, so let's take a look at um, Castlevania the game where it came from yes uh this is the original this is the original okay uh this is it was originally on the famicom disc system really is okay. where it first came out yeah So it was a, a, a Kuma Joe Dracula is the name of the of the original game mm. for Castlevania. Came out for the Famicom Disk System. It's way too low now. What? Anyway. We're not really here to listen to the soundtrack. You'll, you'll hear it <laughs> the enough. The soundtrack in the game. is pretty awesome. It is super, super awesome. Yeah. 
Um, Castlevania, known in Japan as uh, Kumajo Dracula's platform game developed and published by Konami for the family, family computer disk system. Video game console in Japan, September 1986. It was ported to cartridge format and released in North America um, for the Nintendo Entertainment System in May 1987. Right here. Castlevania for the NES. Uh, I apparently paid $25 for it. Yeah, you know, decent price. Um, and in Europe in 1988. Also reissued for the Famicom in 1993 on cartridge. Wow, that was really a lot later. Uh, is the first game in Konami's Castlevania video game series. Um, Crespo says, I actually played the MS-DOS port of the NES game first before playing it on the M interesting. NES. Oh, they ported it for the... DOS? For DOS? Interesting. interesting. Yeah. yeah, very interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's enough of that video. <laughs> I'm fascinated. Because like, we'll, be, so we'll be playing it. Yep. Um, so Castlevania is, is an extremely successful franchise. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, this is flipping screens. One second. <laughs> make it so it doesn't go sideways. Yeah, that's what um, With dozens of video game sequels, mm -hmm. including two on the NES, Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, Castlevania Three, Dracula's Curse. Very nice. And a bunch, you know, goes on and on and on. Um, even for the Turbo Graphics, they made one. Oh wow! Um, a separate one, or was it a port? Separate, of one of those? yeah. Okay. And it's very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. We don't have that to show you. Today. No, <laughs> but I do have um, a spin-off game. Yeah. Um, Kid Dracula. That's, that's the hilarious. English name yeah. for the Famicom, and it's like yeah. a kiddie version of Castlevania. That's fine. Um, it's very very cool. Um, I got my friend to buy this for me when he was in japan and oh it, that's it back, right. right that is so cool and uh castlevania is still going to this day in the form of an animated series on netflix it's on yes, season it is. four it is. this year yeah i haven't watched any of it i haven't watched any of it either um we will have to after playing this game though <laughs> exactly. like it's kind of required i think so um and it even spawned the term uh metroidvania game that's, oh, because that's the a, Vania that's is... That's a style of game, is is Metroidvania, where it's um, okay. a portmanteau. Yeah. There yeah. we go. That's Metroid. the proper word. Um, <laughs> and we brought it back. <laughs> brought it all back, full circle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, typically based on two-dimensional, side-scrolling platform gameplay. Oh. Metroidvania games feature a large, interconnected world map that the player can explore. Okay. Um, the first one is very linear, though. Other uh, ones, yeah, you, you go yeah. back and forth a bit more. Mm. Uh, through access to parts of the world is often limited by doors or other obstacles that can only be passed once the player has acquired special items, tools, weapons, ability, or knowledge within the game, mm. um, etc., etc. So, now it's time to open this, which I have not opened it. I'm excited. Look I at it. It's shiny. He's got it in the protective plastic case. doesn't fit. It doesn't this, matter. This one's too big. I think it's too big for the Atari cases and this oh, is I and see. it's too small for the vectrex, vectrex cases. cases yeah. yeah so i have it in a vectrex well, um, you gotta keep it keep it looking good so. yes oh, um and so i nice. love in television gatefold um, oh, look boxes at that. because it's all accessible <gasps> right wow there's cards and there's a yes. manual so unfortunately the one downside to in television is the cartridges are so boring <laughs> You have one tiny, tiny little strip to put you your need put your information. More than that, really? like, look, no. look at this. It looks like it was printed on a label maker. Oh, it does actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty it's sure like, we have that label maker somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and it's just on white. It's just a very basic font. It doesn't matter. But it's fine. Mm -mm. That's fine. So you're, who's looking at the cartridge? Yeah. You're playing the game, um, or you're looking at the box, which is yeah, which also is very really nice. beautiful. So. So it comes with a great manual, which mm. we will take a look at. But it also comes with the overlays. Oh, that's what they are. I thought they were yes. cards. I thought they were like trading cards or something. Well, some games come with trading yeah. cards. Yeah, but that uh, makes sense. So I'll show you what these overlays look like. Okay. Um, are we going to play with them? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we are no. not. You'll have, to <laughs> you'll have to memorize it. <laughs> She's like, no, you're not ruining the overlays. Exactly. That's not why I bought this game. So there you go. Uh, there's the overlays. 
they're they go, very pretty. And they go right in here. That's great. Wow. Like there. I'm not going to put them in. No? Because you're going to ruin they get them. crunched yeah. and destroyed, and you actively have to press on them. But they're very, very That's cool. That's the looking. whole point, though. To you gotta crunch them? and destroy the stuff you use. Ah, uh, no. That's no. how you how it gains value. No, no, no. Yeah, loose intelligent cards don't look great <laughs> on a sh uh, stacked on a shelf no. either. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, they were not. Um, Ooh, that would be a cool art for... project. Would be to get all the overlays and like put them in like in a frame. Ooh, yes. Like just all like really nice ones. I'm sure they're very hard to come by because I'm sure they get destroyed. Those are much harder than the cartridges. You might want to reproduce them, but yeah. that would be a really cool. People that do make re reproductions of them, so you yeah, can just it buy would the be whole a really set. cool. Yeah, art display. Anyway. Um, Intellivision, a Televania cartridge. <laughs> um, I'll read this after we start it up. Okay. Because let's get to the game. Seriously. Excellent. Okay, so it goes in the side. Let's. I just want to say screen. this is my very first time playing in a television. Game. Oh yeah, we'll get into history of it, but yeah. you don't have any history. I have no history with this. I'm not sure if that little disc thing is gonna work. It doesn't seem <laughs> like it would. It just seems. I just feel like I would break that. I don't know. Right. I don't know what it is. It just looks very breakable. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, fully functional. Good. I'm so glad to hear it. So let's make sure that this is not going to... I do like the gold, brown, and wood panel. Oh, Like the very style of the 70s. In, in, in television just screams 80s to me. And my parents like rec room with the, the paneling and the shag carpeting. So. Oh, yeah. This I, is I, and, and, came um, out in 1979, so it's fully 70s. Yeah. What was Cat. the... Uh, oh, Artique furniture... Thinking. Uh, the whole thing and my my um, CRT with the the knob channel changer. So oh, yeah. yeah, just screams it. I love it. Twenty twenty in television revolution. Hey hey, you're missing all the all the intro. I was looking at the chat. Nice. Very nice. Well, you missed it, so I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> That's really nice. Yes. Very nice title screen and, uh, oh, has an opening and password. Well, opening, I guess, is start the game. And it's got a bat in the castle, a great font, and it's got um, kind of filmic mm. top and bottom yeah. where the, where the um, yeah, like spinners the, go to. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wow. Okay, so let's look at the card here just so we know what's going on apparently oh so atari likes cords not that one i don't think he's encountered a curly cord yet like a like a no. telephone cord so he seems very interested he's very excited right now <laughs> so one easy two normal three expert i don't know if that oh there we easy go it is. it's on easy um so the top ones are jump and the bottom ones are attack just jump and attack that's it okay and move how do you normally hold one of these? You just... I'm a noob. Uh, it's like this. Okay. So, so you whichever click hand with that your you thumb? are... Like, how do you usually... Like, if it's jump and attack... Yeah. You would have, like... It's like these two fingers? These yeah, two so fingers? if you're left-handed, you'd be like this. Okay. And if you're right-handed, you'd be like... It's the top two fingers. I think the left feels more appropriate to yeah. me. Yeah, you'll, you'll figure it out. So, you want to press Enter to start... The opening. Enter. Yep. Oh wow! Nice. Look at this. Yeah. So it puts oh you in a God, safe spot, <laughs> so you can practice. Oh, I thought I had to. So you should practice the buttons. Don't don't go forward. Practice the buttons before going forward too far, because things will start to attack you. So that's health. Oh, not health. Power up. It's a very strange system. Oh, this is going to take me a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, it does look really good. It's probably one of the best looking in television games. And also on beautiful RGB. Like, you couldn't tell this isn't an emulator. It looks gorgeous. Into the castle you go. Okay, now you'll be attacked. Ah! Whip him! There you go. Whip him! Nice. I don't know what uh, power-ups I'm getting here. We will. Sounds great. Yes. And I will talk about the sound chip in the um, 
in television coming up because it actually has uh, I can give you this spoiler it has the same sound chip as Satan's Hollow the arcade oh, game. Oh, really? Same sound chip in the Intellivision. Oh, that's, that's kind of an exciting thing. So literally, an Intellivision could make the same exact sounds as as um, as Satan's Hollow. Ugh. Can you jump in? I'm just timing it poorly. Ah! Good evening. Step into the shadows of the deadliest dwelling on Earth. You've arrived in, at Intellivania, and you're here to destroy forever the curse of the evil count. Unfortunately, everybody's home this evening. Bats, ghosts, every kind of creature you can imagine. You'll find them all over the place if they don't get you first. Still loud. Ah, I'm just trying to get the timings. Yep. Um, you've got to get through six ah! monstrous floors before you even meet up with the master of the house. Your magic whip will help, and you'll probably find a weapon or two along the way. Ah! Oh, it's it. flashing red. I know, That's it's not, not good. good. There's so many in, so in television games with great music. Thunder Castle comes to mind right away. Phaser Cat Games. Uh, Phaser Cat Games says. Carl G says, looks great. Nostalgic says, sounds great. Dan Danny says, says, nice colors. Uh, Crossbow says, basically the same sound as a Vectrex. Yes. They use uh, Yamaha as well. Um, but once you make it to the tower, can you count on a duel to the death? The Count has waited a hundred years for the rematch. He is ready, are you? <laughs> uh, title screen, uh, easy, normal expert, we got that. Opening will start the game from the beginning. Password will allow you to resume a game by entering symbols given to you on the that? game over screen. Press the side button to enter the castle and begin. I, I threw a knife, how did I throw a knife? Oh, maybe it's the other button. Maybe there's two weapons. Oh, it's your alternate weapon. So the other bottom button on the other side is your alternate weapon, I guess. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Pushing up an attack should throw your special weapon, right? That's it. Up an oh, attack. Oh, there ah. you go. Thank you, Captain Classic. We will get there. <laughs> um, but that'll help you along the way. I think you've run out. Oh, it's, it's damn hearts, it. Hearts. I, I, this is very hard. You keep running into them and whipping well, no, way too late. No, I'm, I'm trying to jump, but I'm, my jump timing is just uh, awful. My jumping is, is really good. Uh, object of timed. the game. Move through the castle passages and stairways to reach the tower, dodging and destroying every creature in your path until you find and destroy the count. Use your magic whip and the other weapons you discover on the journey. Be sure to capture hearts and crystals and watch for magic walls. Um, here's how to play. To move, press left or right on the disc to move through the castle. Press up to climb stairs, which obviously you got. Uh, press down to crouch and to descend stairs. Uh, to jump, press the top action button. Very nice scrolling. Nice. Oh, that, that's coming. Oh, good, <laughs> good, good job. Ducking. Uh, the hearts are your ammo for special weapon. Health is ref uh, refill is the pork chops hidden in the walls. Oh. Yeah, um, wall, wall meat. Wall pork chops. It's very strange they chose hearts in this game. So whip that wall. Which wall? The wall you were just in front of. Ah. Here? Uh, no, the, the wall to the uh, right. No, whip it. There you go. Whip it again and crouch. No, opposite, opposite way. There, there's the wall meat. Eat that wall meat. Just in time, you're starting to flash red. Mm. Um. When you pause the game or lose a life, the screen shows the score and other vital information. No, oh. You're out of wall meat. <laughs> How do I get over there then? Uh, you probably take a passage out down and around. Because oh. it does scroll back. Nice. You're going to fall in the water. I can, I can see it coming now. Am I? Yes, I am. What is going on? Oh, down. That's why. Um, attack. When a bottom a action button is to attack with your wet magic whip in the direction you're facing. To attack... Oh, when you get hit, they push you back. So you got to yeah, be careful. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Of them, because they'll push you back into the water. And that's a life. He's coming. You better whip. I, I can't get get across that divide, though. You have to jump. Oh, my goodness. Walk and jump. There you go. There you go. Ah. Whip him. He's going to push you back ah. in the water. <laughs> 
Uh, <sighs> oh, it is very, very strange. Well, you found a checkpoint, at least. Yeah, thank goodness. Um, press bottom action button to attack with your magic whip in the direction you're facing. To attack with a secondary weapon, press up in the bottom action button. When you pause the game or lose a life, the screen shows the score and other vital information. Yeah, with, when the when lose all your lives and the game ends, you can select continue to resume the game immediately. Just continue. Or record the on-screen symbols to use later on as the password screen. Oh, Lord. Da -da 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 continue. You are. Uh, not yet. Enter. It's not going very well. <laughs> oh, did you not continue? Oh, I don't need to continue. I need to practice. <laughs> uh... The game Vampire says Castlevania's one of my all-time favorites. I can't wait to play this. Yeah, it's really nice. Merman. Merman. Uh, this area has been reused in so many games in this series, so don't throw your knives. Well, I, you'll run out. I, I need to practice. Oh, like... Okay. Yeah. Uh, those are actually Fishman in this game. Fishman. They may have renamed them. Um, vampire bats are the things that are um, flying. Those guys that are walking, who are they? Uh, zombies in this game. Oh, you're getting better. Um, so there is the things you get. I oh, didn't see what that one was. Oh my god, that was a panther. Yeah, There's another one. He's naughty. So that is a small heart. Oh. Gives you one extra shot per weapon. So only one. Those, oh, that's a, yeah, a tiny heart. Tiny heart. One extra shot. Um, there's also watches, which are kind of circular. How many, how many pixels oh, to show that? Um, a dagger, which you have. Fast, accurate attack weapon. Makes the target object disappear. Uh, there's also an axe you can get. Slow but powerful attack weapon. Uh, holy water. Splits the earth under the target creature. And incinerates anything on the path. There's a boomerang, which is very powerful because it goes all the way across the screen. Powerful attack, weapon comes back to your hand. Oh, thank you, Packrat VG, for resubscribing. Oh, 19 months. Oh, my goodness. And welcome to the stream. Um, there's a large heart, which gives you five shots per weapon. There's a cross, which destroys all the enemies on the screen. How do you select these items, though? So I think in the original, you can actually, like... Oh! Oh, you've got the water. Okay, that... I don't want the water. It's the holy water. Splits the earth under the target creature. This is so bad. Oh, there's guys there. You're gonna fall. I back up a bit and then jump. This is really bad. Do it now. No! Oh. Oh, very, yeah, it shows the potion at the very top. Very awkward. Very awkward. It is, yeah. Oh. oh, that's a big heart. Oh, you can only have one at a time. When you collect a different one, it replaces. Yeah, it does, it oh. does. Oh, so when you have a special weapon, you want to keep uh, void picking up anything after. Thank you so much, crossbow. Uh, there's an invisibility potion, which is like a yellow urn. Renders you safe from harm for a few seconds. Okay, well, helps. Uh, Morning Star increases power of whipped uh, in two different stages: short chain and then long chain. So you can get so that's a whip. So get that. Get I already both have. Of those. I have. I have them. Oh, but it increases it. Oh, I see. And again, like twice, so it gets longer. So you can whip further. See how far it is now? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I had that before. Oh, okay, good. Uh, money bag give you free points. Pork oh, chop. Damn it. Wall pork chop. Hidden in background. Partially revives lost power. Uh, magic crystal. Captured from head uh, creature in each stage. Completely revives lost power. Oh, gosh. If you double hit buttons, it doesn't do both. Do you know what I mean? Like, like that's what I keep doing. I keep hitting mashing buttons. Oh. And it doesn't jump. It's, it's, I'm like trying to whip and jump at the same time. Oh, gosh. Oh, really? No. Yeah. It doesn't whip and jump? No, you have to, like, jump, then whip. Oh, okay. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You have to jump first. Hooray. And on the map, on the back, it has a nice map of the castle. So it shows you where you're where you're going. Which is 
Very, very nice. Get that bat. Oh! It's all in the timing. The important thing is the fish man water levels to keep moving right. Don't spend lots of time down there. I know, but I can't jump. Because <laughs> <laughs> they just keep coming back. I know. Like whip and then start going. My turn. Now it's your turn. <laughs> it's very unforgiving. Oh, continue takes you back to the beginning. Yeah, because it's you only hit a checkpoint. I don't think it... Uh... Give me all the stuff. Oh, I missed one, actually. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Oh, what? It comes back. Oh, oh there's nothing get, there. Oh, don't get more stuff then? Oh, it comes back, but... Oh, it's empty. So it doesn't actually come back. Dagger! James, try to jump past that cat. Oh. I will do it again. <laughs> I want to see if the hidden crown treasure is there. Well, I didn't go far, so let's try that. Bigger whip. Oh, another bigger whip. Ooh, nice. Nice long whip right away. So, you want me to jump past it? Jump! So what do you do here? Crouch? Nope. No, I don't think there is. Jump forward just before the entrance to pass it, then crouch down. Nope. Nope. Nothing here. Stay crouched. Crossbow is like, there's something hidden here. <laughs> oh! Something just blipped. I don't know what that was. Guess oh, not. <laughs> something just went blip yeah, for a second he there. He said guess not. No, okay. We're going in. <laughs> Money. Enemies. Yay. Jump. I like the zombies. Yeah, you can see their arms up in the air. Are you pushing both with one, on one side? Yeah. Okay, because I was kind of like trying to push it opposite and I'm going to try, try doing that next time. Ah. It does take a bit to... Get used to the controls. <laughs> you can press both at once. He says, strange they let you jump past it, but they don't have a hidden treasure. Yeah. Yeah. It's, usually it's, that's a sign, you know? Yeah, that Where there's something special. The treasure is going to be here. The timing is, does take a bit of oh, getting used to the Oh, especially the jump. If there you're trying go. to jump and whip something higher up. Yeah. Because it doesn't whip immediately. I have to get used to what's jump and what's Yeah, what's exactly. Whip. Yeah, 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 there yeah. We go. People consider this game Nintendo hard. I didn't think it was that difficult other than the Medusa heads that hit you at inappropriate times. Avoiding that is just memorization. Yeah, yeah the Medusa heads is always the... Ah! Uh. Always the tough one. Ah! Well, I accidentally jumped. <laughs> Which worked. Oh, it comes back. Ah, uh, you... Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up the stairs. Do you remember when my nephew played... He played number Castlevania two. Castlevania two. Yeah, he loved it. He loved it and just kept dying and dying and dying over and over <laughs> again. But he didn't care. He loved the monsters. Oh, do I want that? Love the monsters. I think I do, don't I? You just want as many as possible, right? Uh, the hearts? Not hearts. Oh, um, the, the holy weapon. model? Mo oh. Holy water? Holy water. Oh. Oh, and you lose the holy water. Oh my god, I'm back to here. I didn't make the checkpoint. Pausing should slow the timer. What is pause? None of these buttons do anything. As much time as they are spending in one area, they are likely to run out of time and lose a life as well. Yeah, because there is a timer, isn't there? Like an internal oh, timer? You have to complete yes. the area? And jump past. Oh, one no. and nine on the keypad to pause. Good to oh. know. Oh, very good. I don't remember reading that in the uh, yeah, maybe it's in the manual. Thing. Maybe that's just a secret move. All the uh, it's not in the manual. Television fans know it's one and nine is always pause. I, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. It's literally not in the manual. Yeah. <laughs> so that's interesting. And considering this is easy mode, <laughs> oh I can't my god. imagine what hard mode is like. Oh my god! Like we're on level one and struggling, so. 
Yeah, it's a general in television thing. I was gonna say. Oh, okay. So any game? Yeah, shows you. There you go. Shows your score, the timer value, and how much hearts you have for the special weapon plus what weapon you have. Oh. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So, I have a knife. I yeah. have 16 Hearts. special weapons. Yeah. I have 253 time and one life. Is that what it is? I guess so. I'm still not quite getting that. Um, see, when I jumped there, it threw the the sword. I don't know, because I'm pressing up, up accidentally, up. maybe? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's what's happening. Everybody's like, you suck at Castle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're going to have to suck that up. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time I've used an Intellivision controller, so. Yeah, I'm talking I don't about think me. It, well, unless you play ah. a lot of it, it is okay, a hard Okay, got him. Good job. Ah, ah, he got me. Ugh. I should just get to the next stage so I, yeah. people can stop looking at this, this stage. <laughs> oh, plus. The continue sets you all the way back to yeah. the beginning, so. There's holy water up there, I think. Or something. Oh, come on. I know, the timing is so rough. Ooh, cross. It's the holy water. Nope, holy water is a little bottle. Oh, really? Yeah. So what is the cross? Uh, I think it goes right across the screen, so if I do... Oh, I have... It is holy water. Oh, weird. I like the knife better. Yeah. Because it's it's doesn't have an arc. It's like nice and straight. Money. What do you get with the money? Can you buy stuff? Uh, it's just points. So really nothing. <laughs> no. No. See, that's that's why this that. is so hard. You just have to go. go yeah. Go, you go, just go. have to go. Yeah. Like, don't hesitate. As soon as there's a clear area, mm -hmm. go. See, now I'm on the other side. Yeah, the bats can go through the walls, but I can't. Oh! Oh my god. It's a ledge. Oh my god. Here, have some holy water. Oh, now I'm dying. Oh my god, stop it! Is oh, there no, not uh, food in the, the wall? No, no. No wall food? Oh, I forgot the wall food. Is it there wall food on the other side? I don't know. Oh, you forgot it on the, on the main side. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, you're not lasting long. <laughs> no. Under the stair on the zombie screen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at all those zombies. Gonna die. Maybe there's some food here. No. Food. There's only food in the walls. There's no. That's so funny. Food it's in only the candles. Food. <laughs> no food in the candles. The bats understand a three-dimensional world. But your character does not. Yeah, he's like, oh my god, there's a wall. Now you can go around the wall. I don't understand. <laughs> what is this go around you speak of? <laughs> I always loved, um... Oh my god, what happened? Oh god. Oh, what was that? Something there? Oh boy! I need wall food. Oh, <laughs> no wall food! <laughs> I made it to the boss! Hooray! I always liked, um... Oh, what was that? Paper Mario for that reason. Where oh, where you can you, change? You go back and forth. Um, I forget which one it was, but, um... Yeah, where you go from 2D to 3D. Quick, get to the boss! No, it's not gonna last long enough. Didn't think so. Like, is where's the wall food? Why did that whip? Oh god. Why Dodge. I, I gotta get Dodge. out of there because it's like. Oh boy. Oh run. Where's my special weapon? Oh, cause I died. I have nothing. Oh no. Ah, jump. He's almost. Oh. Continue where you start at the beginning. Super yeah. pa Paper Mario, yep. So the, good. You have to finish the level. You have to defeat that guy to continue on the next part. Well, I got better. I got better. Mm -hmm. You really need the axe or slow time specials there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the problem axe was. Does make the first boss easy. The problem was I died and then went right to the boss. 
right? Yeah. So I had no, I had no weapon whatsoever. No. So if I can make it all the way there, which um, getting lots of hearts and then getting the wall food. Ah, oh, God, that is not how you do it. Oh, what, because the axe was in one of those candles before the boss. Okay, good to know. Oh, good to thank you, thank you. Yeah. Great music. Great music. Oh, it's just amazing. So really taking advantage of the awesome chip that's in here. In the Intel Vision. Yeah. Now you have to jump it. I, 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 or you duck. You can duck yeah. it, but it's it's very I, hard to... I duck and smash it. Yeah. Kind of memorization of it. Is it too. the wall here? No. Mm. Oh, he's back. I always go back. Thank you. You 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 go up and then down the other side. So. There we go. Good job. Was that holy water? Yeah. Mm. So that means I can do this. Nice. Oh. Yeah, you, know, you always have to go down. It's yeah. so weird. It's like the yeah, it really takes getting used to. I'm sure once you're used to it, it's quite straightforward. It's like, yeah. So the wall. Very different controls. Food is here. Right? What is what's happening? Oh, no. I'm killing things. No, the wall. The wall food isn't there. Oh, it's further. It's further. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's on the other side of that door. Let's just go up and not waste our time. What are they saying? Yeah. NES games the same way on the stairs. You just fall through them when dropping from a higher level. Uh, the boss sprite had even chunkier pixels. Did the Intellivision have double wide sprites or something similar? That's the wall there. With the uh, wall okay. Before you go down to those horrible things in the, in the basement. Yeah. Down. Down first. There we go. Yeah. You can't do two things at once. Stop it. Ah, uh, stop it! No, no! What are you doing? I'm trying to get that candle. Yeah. Oh. Money! I don't like this part. Stop it! Axe is located at the last downstair just before the bat. No wall pork chops or uh, well, turkey legs or well, whatever uh, they're supposed to be. Chops, pork chops. Uh, I think you want to get the candles. Great. So I think you want to get that lower one too. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Are we at the bat yet? Uh, next section. No. Okay. Oh well. The hearts don't be, seem to disappear, which is good. No. Oh, oh my. Eight. It's not good. Very bad. The last downstairs before the bat, it said. So this... Oh, I don't think I'm there yet. I think I'm... I think you've got a way to jump, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that? Fancy. Uh, invincibility. <gasps> really? But it doesn't last forever. No, it's done. What flashes to say... There it oh, is. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Come on. I want to get lots of axes, so. Or it's just the hearts, right? Now it's up. Oh, oh, me? Oh, I thought you were counting down him. No, I was counting Damn down it. your life. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've almost got him. Is the white flashing indicating time running out? Maybe. Ta time running out for invincibility, I think. Because that's... Mm. No. Right? There we go. Okay. I don't know if that's helpful to, like, go back and get that one and then get the axe and, like, oh, like power through it. I don't know. You want all the hearts you can get, though, right? Or are you run have you run out of hearts? 
Oh, oh. no, it's too late. I'm invincible 14, right now. okay. There's hearts there. Not That's invincible good. now, but... No, no, no. I don't think you can oh be invincible God. that get long. Back, get over. Run around. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Four. Oh! Yay! Works. I did it! Yay! Barely. Woo. Barely. Boss done. First boss. You can get two times X by destroying the second block. He level on the same, same screen. screen. Oh. oh, like up top there. Oh, sweet. Look at that. It's got the map. Wow. So I made it to there. To there, and then you have to go up, go up and then there. there's another bat. Oh my god. Ooh. At least we can possibly continue from here now. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Excellent. Looks like there's a bat up there. Oh, that's a really good weapon. Is it? Excellent. Can I'll you throw it down? Yep. Yeah. I don't have any hearts. Up? Oh, oh, maybe not. Wall food. Give me the wall food. Here's a cat game. says, wow, we even included the map. Yep, it's a serious release, and that's why I bought it, because it's like, they put some work into this. Do I lose that? I'll get some more hearts just in case. Oh, what? Wall money. <laughs> Leewood3000, thank, thank you, you for watching. Glad you enjoy our special Intellivision special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am just blown away at the quality of the game and also the quality of the video output like doesn't oh, this look oh it does look sharp and the colors are sharp. great yeah nothing screams 80s like fuchsia <laughs> pink red yeah purple and it's quite the combo i think this is where the medusa and, heads are yep. violent blue so it's pretty awesome oh the, those are the medusa heads oh that is that is pure movement Torture. timing yeah oh, oh my god. god yeah good times good times I think oh I just better power through this or I'm not going to yeah. make it. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, they're still here. Wonderful. And, ah, oh, that was close. That's dangerous. Oh my god. What am I going to do here? No, no, just go. Oh, they've stopped. Slow, small break. They are the worst. They yes. are, because they push you infamous, back. Infamous, infamous. You're jumping from little platforms. They touch you. And they're you. like, wham! They take health and push you back. Yep. And that means you die. Yep. Like, not take it. <gasps> oh. Ball food. food. I will get that right in my, right away. Good job. Mm. Always check the end walls for food. Any food here? <laughs> <laughs> I believe I'm still playing the same game. Yeah. Like, I haven't uh, died yet. No, you've done very well. That what stops that? time. Oh. Ah, Medusa heads. Oh, my God. They bounce them back into you, in, into them. They bounce you back into the head, too, which is crazy. Yes. I'm going to walk on this. Medusa! No! <laughs> do 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 I want to know who's putting the food in the walls to start with. Yeah, who's hiding food in walls? And, and, Ooh, and yeah. what is the quality of said food? Because it can't be very high. Better be salted meat. I cause... mean, people did have like cold rooms back in like 
the probably a cold 40s castle. and 30s and they'd have a little room in their basement that was like all concrete under the steps sometimes uh. of those old homes but yeah i don't think i would put a, like a turkey leg in there i just <laughs> just in a wall I don't no know. no not a good idea i suppose it's salted i suppose yeah, that's most true. likely oh, oh my, my gosh i just i definitely uh, question the Quality of the meats. Yeah. Quality of the food in the wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not so great. The reasoning food. behind wall food. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it somewhere. I know. I guess you have to. <laughs> it has amazing preservatives, yeah. Very, uh, a lot of preservatives. The quality must be good considering how much health it replenishes, yeah. Oh! Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, just don't fall down there. Yeah. I think you should go to the, the, the lower room if that happens, but no, you, you think just so. die. It's too much of a I guess fall. it is too much, too much of, a, much of fall. a fall. Look at those things. Oh my god. They always fly Six, in sine waves, too. Four. <laughs> they do. So it's, it's predictable, <laughs> but still annoying. Yeah. <gasps> what are you doing? Two. Oh One, no! Zero! zero. Oh, mass! <sighs> yeah, kittens. Kittens. Pixel, come here. Well, I'm at the A checkpoint at least. Get that watch and pause the headsman. What is this? So you cannot fall to the screen at the bottom. You have to use the stairs. Nice to know. Yeah. Oh, I have no whip. <laughs> oh my god. And this is only stage two. I know it. On easy. On easy. <laughs> stage two on easy. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Run, 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 run. Oh no. Oh god. You need wall food. Wall food. Wall food. Oh, I haven't been whipping the wall. No. And I'm gonna die. There was wall food somewhere up here, I think. Just watch the sine waves. Yep. Yeah, it was. It was at the end here. I, I, yeah. It might have been that upper one. Yeah. Upper or here? I, it was up. Okay. Up on that brick there, right to the left. Oh. Yes. There. Thank you. Okay. Take advantage of the non-Medusa head part here while I can. Hi, Pixel. Come up. Jump. And just in case you think Atari's had his fill of treats, he is sitting by He's the front of the door. He's just sitting there waiting. Oh my god. Waiting for the it's treat time. So. It's treat time. Ding 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 ding. Yes. He knows how this game is played. Oh! <gasps> he didn't die. So oh, we're yes. What are you doing? <laughs> the wrong thing. Walk, walk. I think so. Hey, buddy. He knows his name. He's definitely looking at me when I call his name. Oh, my God. Four. Two. So this is an intellivision. And zero. It is controlled by a gold. Oh, <laughs> the Medusa heads. I don't know about these Medusa heads. No. Oh my god, that was close. I've got no whip power. Oh Medusa no. heads are all over the place. Maybe try to hit... Oh, they are all over the place. you got to get out of there. Oh. I don't know what that was. I think it was a whip. Right. But they come back. Right. I know they do come back. Oh, there's a whip. Good job. Helpful. And there's more food there. Okay. Thank goodness it should be back. Yep. How much do I have now? Which 15. is your health? Oh no. That's not your health. Oh, it's the bar. So almost yeah. full. Okay, that's good. Which is good. Hello, a cardboard box. Hey, cardboard box. That's what I said. Yeah. A cardboard box. Oh, I missed the A. Um, I do have a pause now. Do you? Um, how do you use it? Do you go... It pauses them? Yeah. That was very short -lived. Oh my gosh, that was like two but minutes. But I made it. No, kittens, please. Please, oh, please. Oh, he loves the Intellivision. He does. <laughs> He's like, this is great. Are they here too? Oh, they're not. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, good job. Good job. 
Oh, that's not a ledge. It does look like a ledge, though, doesn't it? Oh, smushy smush. Yep. My goodness. Oh, boy. Just in time for Medusa heads to show up. I don't want any Medusa heads here. Oh, oh, those, those dragon look like, heads. They look bad. Oh, I can get one from here. Oh, they, they oh no, they were just shoot shooting. I didn't get it. <gasps> no, ah! come on. Oh, he's, he just stays on me. Jesus. No, 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 no. They're just going to keep coming back. They are. Ball, ball meat. Ball meat? Ball meat. Maybe. Nope. No. Okay. Not this time. No, not quite high enough. Duck! Duck! No, you have to get move, off move the stairs. I oh, have to stand up, but at least it. <gasps> oh, you can't oh. duck! Oh my God! Come on! There we go. Mm. Oh, I can get this guy. I think I'm close now. Yep. Hooray! <gasps> oh, come oh, on! Four left. You need some wall <gasps> get meat. Get off there! You need wall meat. Oh, he shot twice. Those stupid dudes are gonna come yeah. in a second. Oh, I'm gonna go to that end. Oh. <gasps> you have to hit them twice. No. With the whip I have, I have to hit him twice. <gasps> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, please continue from there. Please. Oh, it's not going to. It's gonna start on the second level again. Is that just what is that stuff at the bottom? I would like that, please, yes. <laughs> like the axe. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I oh, think. That is the password screen. That's your password. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's just the beginning of level. <gasps> no, no. What is happening? No, he's, he's just playing with the. Oh. Okay, move that up to here. Yeah. Slide it along. Um. Who wants me to continue? <laughs> um, because I can continue or I can go to the next game. Because I don't know if I'll pass this level. Are it... we? Are we polling the? We're polling the uh, the chat right now. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody wants me to continue? I, I'm not going to pass this level. Yeah. In many many tries, I think. Anyway, nobody's answering, so okay. I'm not going to. Yeah. Um. So it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. No gorgeous. One... Gorgeous. Yeah. Um. Next game. Yeah. <laughs> next. <Yes. laughs> That's a, It's a tough question. Yeah. So, um, super awesome. Uh, give that game 100% <laughs> awesome rating. It's, it's really cool. If you like cool. Castlevania, it, you yeah. will love this. It is such an amazing conversion very, port very cool. of Castlevania. Yeah. Um, I look forward to possibly trying more later. At least yeah. I have the A continue more password. Pra practice, I so think. Don't need, yeah. don't need to do level one. No. Um, it is hard to leave this one. Uh, so what we're going to do now is give you a little... Uh, first, we're going to do the hardware I have for Intellivision. Okay. Which is not going to take very a long. A little tour. And then at the after the next game, we're going to do a little tour of my software that I have. The, the collection. The software collection. Yeah. Very cool. So we're going to move this back just a little bit. Can you buy it currently? Uh, no. Or is it out of... Not, it's, not shipping it's yet? or not in... It's in print. Like, they just did their second run, but I think they're out. Okay. So you'll have to keep tabs on the page to see if they, to buy they it. release the game. Yeah. Well, you might uh, drum up some more interest. So who knows? Maybe they'll Maybe. do a third run. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully they'll do a third run. I'm sure yeah. they will because it's a super awesome game. Yeah. So the poll results, it's not over, but... Um, Where are we at? 46% say, sadly, no, I don't have an Intellivision. Oh, they, th they sold their Intellivisions. 38% um, say, yes, they do have an Intellivision. That's oh, pretty good. that is pretty good. And uh, fifteen percent said I did when I was younger, but not now. Mm. So yeah, mm. lots of people have played an Intellivision or had had one or have one. And no one said. No one said that they don't like it. <laughs> it's like, is did you mispronounce a term? <laughs> That's kind of like I don't. I'm not interested. No, in not interested. No. But everybody yeah. seems like yeah, it's yeah. pretty cool. It's it's the same era and and yeah, the games are pretty cool. So is this the one 
with the crazy um, commercials with the old guy. Yes, George um, Plimpton. George no, Plimpton. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, who, he's like. Who's like, this is, Atari's terrible and looking in television. and like, Our games trying to... are, our, our uh, sports games are much better. I'm, yeah. And I'm intelligent and yeah. not fun at all. Yeah. <laughs> So I have another uh, in television. Who is he trying to sell them to? Like Creepy other, charge. yeah. <laughs> is he trying to sell them to like, like elderly people? Adults. Yeah, guess, which yeah. is kind of weird. I don't know. So I have another in television. Um, when I was testing them out, this one uh, proved to be bad. <laughs> it starts to ghost after a bit. Mm, after about yeah. five minutes, it starts like doubling up things. Mm. So not so good. Um, Pretty though. Yep, very cool looking. And this was the second <laughs> iteration of Intellivision, which was the Intellivision 2. Oh, wow. Oops. Intellivision 2, mm. right on the side there. So they did make more than one version of the Intellivision, or is this the exact same thing, just a smaller... Just smaller. Just smaller. Just okay. like the so 2600, no, they have Atari the, Juniors. The hardware components are no different. Then. Exactly the same. Okay. Um just smaller and these mm. are removable now oh so you can unplug them from and, there. and put a new one in kind of thing yeah so um it, were they trying to be around the same form factor of a nintendo at that point an uh, original nes i don't think i think this came out before an nes did it They're just okay. looking different it just looks very similar in, in form factor to the, so to I do the have, nes i have three of these for some reason because i i guess i thought they looked cool they do look cool. Um, this one is a little different, actually. Um, I don't know what the difference is. This one has a red yeah. stripe around it. This one doesn't have a red stripe. This one looks like it needs some and retro braiding. <laughs> and all of these, all the numbers chipped off both controllers. Wow. Or someone peeled them off, I guess. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. This is a slightly different model number, maybe. Yeah. Model number 5872. 5872. Huh. It does have an orange sticker on this one, mm. and no orange sticker on this one, and this one has an orange sticker. So the one without the orange sticker has no red band around it. Mm. That is parts unit, perfect for fixing the others. Yeah, exactly. Very true. Mm -hmm. um, and and it is cool that you can detach the controllers yes. on these. Yes. So if it, yeah. So if one controller fails, you just go unplug. Mm. A lot easier than opening up the whole thing. Um, and they stack nicely too, and are smaller, but they're they're physically exactly the same. Yeah, so no difference really, um, other than other than the external like form factor. Yeah, and the plug was separate on those. Mm. Um, on these big ones, the plug is built into it. You can't detach the plug. Oh, I see. Which is fine. Yeah. Um, and the model two, I don't have a model two, mm. but those look the same as these. Okay. But the controllers are detachable, so that's like the best of both worlds. Mm. That's why what cross. Are those controllers are awful. Model two controllers, that is. Oh. Mm. Mm. Maybe well, they're not as good. I good, know. I modded this one then. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, I also have two Intellivoices. Mm. And what you did was plug this into uh, the cartridge slot. Okay. And then you plug the cartridge into it, and there's a volume control on it. Yeah. And this spoke. Um, it had voice synthesis in it. Were there many games that took advantage of it? I think there was like three, three oh, games. So not, a lot. not not very many. Uh, another one of those console things that they come up with, and it works with like one or two <laughs> games, and you're like, oh, it's so cool, and then no one, no one programs for them, which is really sad. Yeah. I, I that always always bugged me. And... Um, come up with something cool and then no one no one uses it but the a voice few homebrews use it oh that's cool i think the voice yeah. goes through this i okay. don't know if it goes through the speaker i can't remember mm -hmm. um but the, you mean the speakers on that uh the speakers on this yes. maybe it kind of looks maybe like not it. maybe it does no go, it goes, no, it goes through, through the rf, RF. Okay. oh cool okay mm -hmm. um and i hey <laughs> bad cat um and it matched the look yes. of this with the gold. The gold and the brown. Yeah. yeah. I believe there might have been a different looking one that matched the the Meryl version two. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yay. Yay. D -train. D -train. What did I miss? 
said? Looky here. No, he didn't say what it 22 was. months. Wow, 22 months. Very nice. Jeez. Okay, so that is the hardware I have. There's other hardware that they made for it. Um, what is the other hardware? They made a keyboard, kind of an external computer for it, <laughs> which had its own processor in it. Um, they also made a music synthesizer, a 49 key piano, external piano. Wow. Uh, they made a system changer so you could plug Atari cartridges in it and play Atari cartridges through your television. Really? So did Coleco as well. Because well, it, Atari components were off the shelf. Anybody can make them. So they was like, you could copy Atari. So these consoles played Atari games? With the adapter, yes. Wow. Yeah, which is crazy. Atari couldn't have been too happy about that. They weren't, but they destroyed the competition anyway, so they weren't too True. upset. True. Um, and then there was also, um, the IntelliVoice, with I, which I showed, um, uh, Play Cable. They were the first ones, or one of the first ones, that allowed downloading of games off of the cable lines to play on your system. Mm -hmm. I believe they were the first, yeah. Um, Game Line on the 2600. Oh, okay. Maybe it was Game Line. Um... Um, yeah, so they had some, some extra add-ons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And man, people are still buying their games, even if they didn't they have, have the them. console. That's true. Yeah. As long as they're buying Atari games. I mean, there are lots of secondary companies. That's right. Companies, they could, they could so. have been buying third party and Atari gets zero dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. And realistically, mm, yeah, people were By buying. that late, late stage, I'm sure they were uh, buying a lot of. People were buying Activision games. Yeah. Because <laughs> those were the good Activision. ones. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, the company that made the game line for the 2600 went on to become AOL. AOL. Ooh. Hey, it makes Ooh, sense. Mail. Yeah. So we're on to our next game, which is Jump King Jr., which is a port of Jump Man Jr., mm -hmm. which is a sequel to Jump Man. Now, I played uh, Jump Man and Jump Man Jr. a ton on the Commodore 64. Okay. Um, already looking at it. So we're going to take a look at um, what Jumpman Jr. looked like. Okay. For the Atari 8-bit, okay. which it did come out for um, the 8-bit. The 8-bit. Jumpman came out first. Mm, yeah, that's nice. the dude. Yeah. Um, I think this is actually from the C64, C64. version because ah. he's all white there. I see. Um, the... Oh, interrupt me. Um, Jumpman came out first, <laughs> yeah. which had 30 levels, I believe. Okay. And then, or 20 or 30, I think 30. And then Jumpman Jr. came out with 12 levels. But let's take a look at Jumpman Jr. for the Atari 8-bit. Let me switch over the cartridges. Boom, boom. There we go. Epics made epic games. They're so good. They made such they such a, a lot of amazing games. Um, so Jumpman Jr. is a platform game written by Randy Glover and published by Epics in 1983 for the Atari 8-bit family and Commodore 64. In 1984, a port was released for ColecoVision in Australia, France, Germany, Italy, and UK. No wonder I don't have it. I would have definitely bought that, so I can't play Jumpman Jr. America and then TSC land. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a follow-up to Jumpman 1983. While Jumpman had 30 levels, Jumpman Jr. had 12, all of which were different from the previous game. Uh, the game was reduced in scope so it could be released in cartridge form. Um, yeah, uh, Jumpman was first developed for the Atari 8-bit and then Commodore 64, uh, Apple II and IBM. Um, it was a bit, uh, great big hit. Uh, for automated simulations, and they renamed themselves Epics. Um, uh, the story, the the base on Jupiter has been sabotaged by terrorists who have placed bombs throughout the base's three what? buildings. <laughs> the object of the game is to defuse all the bombs in a platforms-filled screen. So those are all bombs. Uh, Jumpman diffuses a bomb by touching it. Jumpman can jump, climb up, climb down ladders. There are two types of ropes, each allowing a single direction of climbing only. So the ones with attachments at the top 
are for going down. Okay. And the ones with no attachment at the top, the gray ones, are for going up. Down versus up. Okay. Yep. Why is it all flashy like that? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know why he's all flashy there. I don't remember what was the title of this. Because each level has its own shtick. Its oh, own I see. thing that's happening. So this might be like random slowdowns. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I almost killed him. Yeah, uh, terrace on the base of Jupiter. What is this, the expanse? <laughs> so great. that gives you the idea of what it uh, uh, looked like originally. Wow. Um, it's super fun because you can, whenever you touch um, one of these levels, like if you jumped from the ladder and touched this, he automatically climbs up through the level. Oh. So you don't bounce <laughs> off of it. You don't hit the wall. You, you just kind go of, blip, you go blip. through it. So, so it's fun. You can easier. just go jump, jump, jump all over the place nice. and you climb up through things. Nice. Um, it's really good at moving around. Mm. That's what I really liked because you could get really creative with how you traverse you the level. Mm. And it's it's based on time, is it? Uh, there's um, score and bonus. I don't know if it blows mm. up if you run out of time. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. So, Jump King Jr. Very nice box art. Um, we'll take a look at that box art here. Very, very nice. It is very nice. It's a nice box. Yeah. Does it swing it's open? It's time. Uh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, perfect timing. Oh, the cat's so excited. See that? Yep. Good. Oh, right <laughs> away. Ding, please. Service. Yeah. <laughs> Service, please. Yes. So here is the cartridge. Is that focusing? No. Thank you, Carl G. The cats say thank you. Especially Atari. And the manual. There. And stuck overlays there we are and the overlays oh look at that very nice yes 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 i think that's the fastest i've seen atari hit that bell. <laughs> that was yeah. very quick yeah, i put it down he's like wham ding <laughs> so on the so on the overlays there's nothing special it's just jump jump and move there's end game if you accidentally press that. That's, oh. that's the end of your game. Yeah. So we will not be using the overlays <laughs> because I don't like them destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> He's very good at that bell now. Oh, yeah. Like, just, just like, oh, where is it? Bing! <laughs> Mattel's 2600 games use the same cartridge shells with a thing put on the end to make it fit a 2600 slot. Did they use the same? Because they... What what they are is they look the same at the top, then they flare out at the bottom uh, oh. to fit into uh, 2600. And then they put, obviously, a 2600 B PCB in it. It's gotcha. very... I hate, hate those cartridge shells. They don't stack properly. Oh, they yeah. They look super ugly, and yeah. they only have that little bit at the end mm. for the, the artwork for the 2600. Okay, um... Done the bell? Excellent. Yep. Yeah, they have had their snacks. Thank you, Carl G. Yep. Appreciate it. The cats appreciate They're it. They're very happy about that. Yeah. So it's time to take a look at Jump King Jr. Yes. 2018 in Television Revolution. You're missing it again. Yep. I was reading the chat. At the exact same time I'm turning it on. Well, but I mean, this is the cool part. Yep. Great music. It sounds exactly like C64. Very nice. Very different intro screen than, um, than the, the C64, yeah. at least. Yeah. So we're going to move this back again. Scramble, cats. Scramble. Oh, starting up again. Uh, so what was the uh, what were the controls? Uh, movement and any of those buttons jump. Any of them? Oh, that's even better. Not those, but the side buttons. Oh, yeah. uh, oh we can play two player, alternating. But play one player first. Um, one is very, wait, wait, I think one is super fast. Okay. Like you don't want one. It's really hard. You definitely do not want eight. It's super slow. Okay. Like so painfully slow. Four? 
Um, yeah, I'd go, f yeah, try four. Try four. Oh, oh options. Me. Well, let's Come get into the here. options. Oh. Oh, it resets it. <laughs> the options you just picked. <laughs> Uh, so that's in the manual. Um, hey, no, 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 no. So that's your little dude. You have to go get all the bombs. That's a good speed. Four, uh, a little slow, maybe. That's what you said. So the, it's, uh, jump, 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 up, up, up. There you go. So bullets will be coming by and as soon as they spot you. Okay, you don't want to, you can jump and die. You don't, um, if oh. you fall too far. Oh, really? Yeah. So if I go. That should be okay, but you don't want to jump too far. The bolt's gonna get you. Jump. Start moving, start jump. moving. I can't jump. No, you just walk. Walk over. I couldn't walk up. Oh, it was walk. stopping. I don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe okay. it wasn't stopping. Didn't do that in the original. You should be able to walk up. Okay, let me. Should be able to walk up those and up and down those as well. Okay. Let's see, maybe I was just having trouble. Controller issues. Oh, it, oh no, okay. I didn't think it was, but it is fine. Okay. That is my mistake. So you'll grab onto ladders and um, jump up. Oh, I hit the button though. Maybe you're still I on the do ladder. Not like, I do not like <laughs> this controller. Maybe I was. Yeah. Ugh, it takes... Crespo says, I've not seen this game yet. Uh, I tried to convince Albert to make a 5200 cart like that. Oh, where it flares out. That would be interesting looking. Yeah, and sometimes when you get the bombs, it changes the map of things. Oh, no, you don't want to go that way because you can't go down that ladder. That, oh. Um, or, I mean, that... Uh, oh. Too far. Oh, no, that was too far. <laughs> oh, if you rolled that way, you could have possibly got those two. Uh, you can actually collect bombs while you die. Yeah, no, that happened last time. Yeah. I noticed that. So you want to take that rope down and jump when that bullet comes. Jump. Which one are you pressing? The button. The side button. That's mm. what you said. Yeah. I would stand there and practice jumping for a bit in the next I, I round. I just, I might not have hit it hard enough. Use the disc to select side button to enter. Oh. Enter to restart. Clear for title. Oh, enter. enter. Oh, starts at the first level. Nothing to it. Rolling. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> okay, start so... jumping. Practice your jumping. Press the button. It's not... Oh, what? Press nothing, up on the button. Nothing, then. nothing is there. Why? That's so weird. Let me try. Is it the controller? I, you saw me hit it multiple times, right? Uh, I'm not crazy. Yeah. See? 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 Hmm. Up in the button. That's up weird. in the button. Yeah. But it should just be the button. It should be the button. Who's the QA on this? Is that up? Up in the button? No. When you're going Side left or right. Button. Yeah, so you have to press up to jump up. Oh. That's that's fine. It's fine. It's not ideal. Uh, okay. Jupiter needs your help. On the far side of Jupiter lies the Jupiter Command substation, a valuable outpost of the Earth. The alienators, dreaded enemies from beyond our solar system, have already attacked Jupiter Command Station and are now invading the substation. Can it be saved? Jump King, Jupiter's super secret agent, is desperately trying to restore communications at the command station. And his promising apprentice, you, Jump King Jr., have received an emergency request to drive back the inalienators from the substation. Object of the game, defuse the bombs planted throughout the substation's 12 levels before they explode, crumbling the outpost instantly. Your speed, jumping ability. Did you fall off something? Not apparently. No, not there. Uh, your G your speed jumping ability and courage are your only weapons against the enemy. Move Jump King Jr. up and down ladders and ropes and across girders to reach the bombs. Whoa. Oh, no. Should have gone down that rope. I No, I tried not to jump to the rope. I wasn't trying Can to I get do you? that. Yay. Move Jump King, uh, activate Jump King Jr.'s jet boosters to leap away from dangerous enemies. Oh, that's why they exp how they explain his... High, high jumping. Uh, moving walls and ever-present bullets. Score as many points as you can. Good luck, Jump King, and the entire planet Jupiter are counting on you. Oh, they referenced him as Jump King. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I you did way it. way too many lives. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, no, now that I know it's jumping up, bad. Crespo says, pretty sure the ColecoVersion version I own, 
I own and have played uses one of the side buttons to jump. You have a... So there is an NTSC ColecoVision version? Oh my gosh, I ran right into it. I didn't... <laughs> I'm collecting a couple. Get oh. it, get it, get... Oh. <laughs> that was not good. Um, yep, pause is one and nine. It says it in this one. Yeah, I can't go that ladder now. To jump across the fire. Hey, whoa, yay. Uh, how to play. Press the disc to move left or right, to jump, press any action button, touch every bomb to clear the level. Up rope, down rope, we know no. that one. Uh, when, when, oh, you did it. That doesn't seem like that should have happened. But... <laughs> oh. Yeah, when you touch a ladder, it, yeah. <gasps> oh, just that's fell off very the finicky. That's very finicky. Uh, when Jump King Jr. touches a bomb to defuse it, you score 100 points. Complete a level to earn bonus points remaining on the counter. Score 25 points on level 1 for each reserve life, and the value increases 25 points each level. An extra life is awarded every 7,500 points. On level 8, defuse bombs in the correct order to spell Jump King, and earn 250 points per level. Helpful hints. How's the speed? It's good speed? It's not bad. Yeah, I probably would pick faster when I'm playing. Just though you picked I what? think I would... Three? It was four. four. I might go for three... Because you, because the bullets don't speed up, you're just faster. But it's also much more out of control <laughs> if you can't control them at that speed. Um, see how far you can make Jump King Junior jump leap. He can jump fantastic dif dif distances, but even a small mistake can be disastrous. Watch what's happening on the entire screen. Objects can shoot out from either side or drop from above almost any time. Oh. Crossbow sent a picture of his Jumpman Jr. for Very his ColecoVision. Nice. I'm going to look at my list again and see if I do have Jumpman. Uh, let's see. Video games. Video games have. Let's look that up. Um, Go up. <laughs> Having out trouble controlling. Oh, sometimes I was like, come on, go up the ladder. It wasn't going up the ladder. I love how excited he looks when he jumps straight up. He goes, yay! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and then it goes on to explain all the different levels. Oh, there you go. See what Hurrah. it says on the back. See, <laughs> yeah, I know this song. <laughs> um, for one or two players, play through 12 levels and save the command station. An action game full of variety and suspense. Suspense? Hmm. Uh, definitely variety and action. Each level has its own unique challenges. Choose your game speed, fast or slow. Can you not be in behind my computer? There's cables there. Can he not? Can you not? Can you be any more annoying? <laughs> Kitties? No, you're too cute. Just call him Chandler. Chandler Cat. Can we name our next cat Chandler? Uh. Oh. No, I do not have Jumpman. You or don't? Coleco. No. And sadly, not for C64 either. Uh, I do have it for the Atari 8 bit, though. Jumpman Jr. So, I could play that. Whoa, that was a big jump. What the, what the hell am I supposed to do there? Uh, who are the devs for both Intivania and Jumpman game? Are they here? Um,. I know the distributor. <gasps> oh my god, I can't believe I survived that. I don't know how that's possible. The um the distributor. Can I go under that? Um, will that kill me? Will my my head no, you probably turn okay. into a firebomb? Oh, Shock. that's shocking. Barely. Shocking. Um who was the distributor? In Television Revolution, Rev on uh, the Atari Age forums saw that we we're going to play it tonight. Oh, nice. But I don't know. No! 
if the um, developers saw it in time. Um, so Jump King Jr. was made by Robotnik7. Very mysterious person. Couldn't find a real name. Oh, you gotta get the bottom one first. Maybe. Might have still blocked you. Oh, I hit the button. Mm, the uh, system disagrees. This was first posted in October 25th, 2017, and it was for retail sale at PRG 2018, where really? we bought it. Ah. That's where, where we got it. Oh, the bottom one still blocks it. But you can get the top one still by going around. But I guess you could do the bottom one, too. Um, the developer also made Copter Command, uh, Laser Sharks, Missile Domination, Sea Venture, and Ultimate Pong. Uh, this is uh, long sold out, so you'll have to buy it used, hmm. which is very hard for homebrew. Uh, I guess you could buy it on the Atari Age forums. That's a little bit easier. Okay. Oh, want to play two fun. player or you want two player to... would be okay. fun. So we, are we competing to see who can get the most bombs? Is that the idea? Uh, no, it's not at the same time unless they've done oh, something it goes very back and special. Forth. Okay. Press your there button, please. Enter. Side button to enter. Oh. Didn't James promise that Tanya would tell one? A bear story? Do you have a new bear story? No. What? Oh. Oh. Um, we, the only bear story we have is one one cross the road. Have you ever run into bears? Because <laughs> there was a bear game last episode. Oh. Oh, player one speed? You are, you want, what were you before? I was four. So is five faster? No. Slower. Three is faster. Three. Do you want three then? I do want three, but that's you. Oh. I want three as well. Okay. Enter. Um, yeah, we we showed a video when the bear crossed across the road in front of us from back from the spa. But I, I don't oh, know yeah. if any... You're gonna die. Oh, God! I always forget it goes up, too. You have to kind of taunt it. Yeah. You have to, like, And get out of the way. Yeah. Sorry. I was not thinking. Uh, when we went to the spa and the bear ran across the road, yeah, that was an interesting one. Um. This plays pretty good. I think I'm gonna get these two. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to get the whole bottom here. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get Oh, God. <laughs> Just whizzed by. I could feel the air rushing by. <laughs> the bullet that grazes your, the side of your face. Matrix, that bullet. Yeah. Oh, the Matrix. That's coming out, isn't it? Uh, I don't know that? when, Christmas. but they yeah. were talking about that, yeah. That so be this interesting. Well, I'm gonna wait for this bullet to come by because I don't trust it. No. Oh. Sometimes it doesn't go for you. Oh, what? dead. Dead. That does not happen on the C64 version. What? You just you jumped into midair. No, I touched that platform. Yeah. In the C64 version, if you touch a platform, he crawls up it. Oh, okay. So I guess it doesn't happen in this version. Um. Yeah. There is the Matrix. There's Dune. Um, oh, that I mean, yeah. Does, has Doom come out yet? No. No. Uh, that's on the 22nd. Um, there is another movie as well that I'm interested in, and I can't remember. Some ensemble piece? Uh, Ghostbusters, I'm, yeah, I'm interested in that. Yeah, it does look good. I'm interested in that. It does look good. Not super excited, but interested. It looks... It, the, the first trailer was like, eh. Second trailer was like, okay... Yep, yeah. okay, I it get it. It does have Paul Rudd in it. So yeah, I'm just going to say Just that for Paul Rudd, yeah. I, I... It's going to get you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just for Paul Rudd. I hope he has a prominent role in it. I do too. Actually, he seems to, right? He's mm -hmm. he's not like some side character. He's no, going to be quite prominently be featured in the trailer. The man who never ages. Yeah. I had this one on the C64. I always found it hard, especially later levels. Mm. Um... Did I ever finish this game? I don't think I did, because it gets really hard. There's only 12 levels. Oh, really? Yeah. That feels very doable. It does. The levels get... Oh, I hit the button. Flash. Didn't you hear it go... Nope. Flash. Maybe you were, like, that close, and you jumped into the fire. It's not very forgiving. Nope. you got to work within the way... Oh, so it does that. Like, I was on the ladder beneath yeah. it, and I went to the left and went... Bloop. 
Yeah, it does. But I'm not going to trust it. Yeah, but you were pretty far off that, that platform. True. You were pretty um, far off it. But the C64 did different things. This is, this is a level where there's like a very, very distinct pattern that you should do. Yeah. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After you've played it a few times, you figure it out. Yeah. I think it's from the bottom up, or I don't know. So, we picked up our Halloween costumes. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, well, we, we ordered them. <sighs> we'll see if China gets, gets them to us in time. <laughs> They're not I'm, both from China, are they? I think they are. But that's okay. We'll see. Yeah. Well, this might be a mistake. Let's see. Uh, I think I'll pass this one. Yeah, uh, you'll excited. see what they are. You'll see them on our Halloween show. Yeah. Oh, God. Nope. Got to go to the left here. Yep. They make you. Force you to. Um, I think they'll turn out okay. The I costumes. Hope so. I hope so. The characters that we're going to be embodying, yes, we're going to have to watch some of the uh, the media around it. Yeah, to get into character. Yes, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, can't say more than that. No. Nope. But uh, we are looking forward to Halloween. Darcy is going to be there. Going? No. No, not the Friday. No. Yeah. Yeah. So not the Halloween. Unfortunately, he's not going to be here for no. Halloween. Um, but he he will be here next Friday. Next Friday. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah. He usually is. Yep. Yeah. It's just not Halloween. I don't think. No. Ah. Whoa. Which is sad. Oh, come on! <laughs> that was a little too... That was a little too sensitive. But we do have an extra special Halloween homebrew reveal world premiere yeah is that before halloween or is it on, on the, the halloween nice the halloween episode the halloween episode or yeah. we're, are we doing it actually on halloween uh no no okay yeah did i fall off sensitive. that it was so uh, sensitive. I, I jumped <laughs> no yeah my wife and i turn off all the lights and hide in the back bedroom <laughs> and watch movies on halloween <laughs> there's somebody at the door don't yeah. answer it yes pretend like you're not here i might have touched the fire yeah oh. nobody comes to our door one because nobody can see our door. And two, because we don't advertise our door. <laughs> no, it's true. Um, but we're usually doing, like, the show on Halloween. Coincidentally, like, it has been on Halloween a couple times, hasn't it? Like, on the Halloween day. What day is the, is Halloween this year? Is it the Saturday? It's Sunday, I think it's someone Sunday. was saying. Yeah, I don't know if we want to do it on the Sunday because usually when we did it people are like oh we have things to do so we'll do it on the uh, Friday you're gonna get uh, shot sorry I forgot I feel, uh, not thinking I'm listening to you um was the color scheme on the original blue with white ladders oh, mm. game over for you uh I don't remember I'm definitely gonna try and put my name in just so I can see what it looks like <laughs> you've skipped it every time should be just one left, yeah. I know what my score is. When you record it for posterity on video, right. forever and ever and ever, <laughs> you don't need to put your initials. Not really. No. Especially since it doesn't... <laughs> Sreddle. Sreddle. Ladders. Backwards ladders. Oh, funny, funny. Oh, they yeah, they change directions. This one's not too bad. Can you jump on the ladder then? Uh, Yes. Yeah, you jump on it and, and then you, you go ride it down. down and jump off of it. Interesting. It's not that bad of a level. And there's no bullets in this one? Okay. You, you have what? to you have to press down. <gasps> oh. When the ladder is going down. Is going down. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. <gasps> I was pressing oh, up. Oh no. Oh, you get caught on the um Oh, is this going to be a problem? Yeah. I well, I can't is. tell because it's game over. Oh. Damn it. Um. Oh, oh, God. Oh, there we go. Well, that's a pretty good way. Except mm -hmm. you can't go fast, can you? No. Relatively slow. It's fine. Mm -hmm. There we go. One more. Just one more? At least one more. 
Uh, do you want to go faster? Or yeah, think... I'll go faster. Okay. Yeah. Two players. You gonna so go two. two? I'll go two as well. Yeah, let's see how that goes. Mm. Oh, we're up to 889 followers now. Oh, that might be a bit too fast. I don't know. Oh, I'm liking this. <laughs> Because we're at 888 followers at the beginning. What? Of the show. 888? Yes. <laughs> what are we up to now? 889. Somebody followed during the show. Oh, this might be too fast. No, it's awesome. I like it. Just one more nostalgic says. Yeah. Because it might be too fast, like for sensitive areas, like with the fire. Oh, I we see. We might be like, bip, bip, yeah. and we move two yeah, pixels instead of one. Extra Look at bonus, that bonus points Sweet. for all the extra lives. Nice. Firefighter! I didn't announce the names again at the beginning of the show. Erg, jump. I wasn't jumping again. Up in the button. I was. Oh. No, or to the right in the button. Oh. I wasn't jumping. That's very The strange. buttons are A little interesting. sensitive, yeah. Yeah, or not sensitive enough. One or the, other, or the other. Maybe it wasn't sensing that I was hitting right, like too much control there. I don't know. Maybe. Because you said it's 16 way? 16 way, yeah. So maybe I was hitting the diagonal instead of the right? It depends how it's programmed. Yeah. Right? It might be like, oh, you have to hit exactly to the mm. left, but I doubt it. wonder what the ROM size is. How many unique screens compared to the original? Uh, same number of screens, 12. Okay. Uh, ROM size, I have no idea because I don't have the ROM. Mm. Actually, somebody was in on Facebook saying, I wish they have released the ROM for yeah. the LTO cart. So there is no ROM. Mm -hmm. You have to have the cartridge. Which kind of sucks for people that it's sold out. So. Yeah, how do you get it otherwise? Yeah. Actually, those are good to get. I think that's not good to get. Oh, no, see, I died again. I pressed to the left yeah. just slightly. I think this is yeah. too fast for these sensitive areas. Gonna sh see that shot mm -hmm. at the last second? Oh, there's a guy. I'm already dead. It's too late. Whoa. See, he kind of jumped up there. See, it d he does grab onto it. It's just not perfectly sensitive. Like, it doesn't register small grabs. Up. I almost hit the fire. You might even be able to jump up through that green there. I'm not sure. <gasps> Your foot was like on the fire. Oh, that was very lucky. I have never played the original Jumpman game, so I'm clueless. Oh, oh come on. I was definitely oh, not I hitting see. the side. That's why. Yeah, oh. Jumpman was 30 levels. This is Jumpman Junior, which is 12. Oh, is but it? junior because it's only 12 or is it uh the is the gameplay substantially different uh totally different levels yeah um, but is it the, sort of the same oh, exactly style of the game same. it's the same engine mm. it's exactly the same engine um it's just they made less levels so they could fit it okay see it did work oh. it did work good to know There's definitely a really proper pattern for this one. Yeah, I think you're right there. Which is probably something like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. I think it is logged in as you because your bits are 2.9 thousand. Is that my bits? Or your, your bytes. Right? And I have it infinite. Says ZPH here. Oh, it's probably just Chat the same. Identity? It's just the same icon, I guess. Yes, I'm confused. Who you just I... have the same icon as me. Who am I logged in as? You. Am I? Is this me? I think so. Oh, my. What? Yeah, it is, because I'm in the chat, so. Oh, okay. It must be me. Yep. That makes sense. I pressed down at the bottom of the ladder. And he fell like two pixels. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. You're going to get shot. Don't get shot. 
Um, he fell like two pixels off the ladder. And he died. Ooh, what are you doing? Oh, oh way too early. Yeah, I timed that terribly. Because he's faster now, right? Yeah. So he's going to go up and down faster. Mm, that was awful. Look at that. That cat is staring at the treats. Oh, he was. <laughs> He's a bad kitty. He is a bad kitty. Very cute. Very bad. Can I actually finish this level? Oof. Well, I got the ladders working. Because mm -hmm. I it didn't get stuck this time. Oh, I fell off the side! <laughs> As the D-Train says, I am shocked that there are problems <laughs> using the Intellivision controllers. What are you talking about? These are the best controllers ever made. They're problematic. Uh, they're better than the 5200? I don't know about better, but they work. <laughs> 5200 ones just break. So, uh, are they the worst... He oh, walked right I into hit it. Jump! Come on! <laughs> I hit the jump button. They're great for pixel perfect platforming. Mm. They're not. Like, you can just barely touch them. There's a car racing game that I think they're really good for. Mm. Um, I can't remember which what it's called. It's probably just called car racing. <laughs> Auto racing. I love the slight, like pull on these controllers by the way way where it feels like the you're struggling consoles <laughs> trying to pull them out of your hands the whole time you're playing like oh. give them back one more don't you think like if your hand oh. just got a little sweaty it would just go boing <laughs> yep i'm sure that was something that happened a lot Kink. enter 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 oh side button one more and then i will go to my collection of games which may or may not be interesting at all. Uh, again, this is why I like the Sears model. Um, yes, because they're not curled on the Sears model. Really? I kind of like the curled. Your turn. They're very Don't unique. Um, I they're have a unique. Coleco vision, where I believe Coleco's controllers are also curled, but I have an ironed out controller cable. An ironed out? Yeah, if somebody did something to the cable. So it's not curled. They ironed it out? That's hilarious. I don't know how they did it. Heated it and pulled on it? Maybe. Yeah, I can see why you <gasps> have trouble. Okay, watch how I do control it. Yeah? It's like this. Yeah, but I don't find you're, this. this uh, it, do, it doesn't move that well. The way you're doing it, you're very core towards the I center. I have to because the, the disc doesn't always spin. Uh. <laughs> you almost ran right to the bottom. That's hilarious. You're not really spinning the disc. You're yeah. um, you're kind of leaning you, on the I disc. I know, I know. That's, that's what you want it, to do. It's very unusual. I, I It's <laughs> not exactly unusual. bad. It feels like a precursor to a D-pad, sort of. Like They claim, well... Tommy Tellerico claims that it's the, the precursor to the D-pad. Well, it does feel like a precursor to it, the D-pad. It kind of is, because it's one solid piece. One solid piece. piece, yeah. Yeah. Yerky used to offer cable straightening for the Coleco controllers. That's funny. That's probably um, because I have, I believe, the Yerky ColecoVision... Um, RGB mod. Mm. If I'm not mistaken. So that's probably why mine are straight. Yeah. Nostalgic is saying I used to I was so used to joysticks when I would play on my friends in television, I always struggled with the disc controller. It felt much harder to move in the direction I wanted. It I'm getting used to it now here, on this game at least. Yeah. This game is a pretty good game, actually, to get. Oh, used. Jesus. oh, it's a pretty good game to get used to. Yeah. The disc, the disc because it's uh, very straightforward. It's usually left or right, up or down. Mm -hmm. There's no diagonals. Um, oh, that was way early. Oh my goodness! I like I've died there. said many times. What are you doing? Oh God! <laughs> you just walked right off. I know. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> um, I didn't have any consoles when I grew up. 
Um, you just had your Commodore 64. Just had the Commodore 64, but... It was a, it was a sad, sad existence <laughs> for James. Terrible. Poor little fluffy blonde-haired James. Yeah. No, no... No consoles. No consoles for I had him. to go to my friend's house. Um, so when I was living in Calgary at, at a very young age, yeah, when probably this came out, yeah, just shortly after, um, oh, come on, I have to go all the way around. Yep. Um, I. <laughs> Bye. Look, Whoosh. I warped around the side. Yeah. Oh, I think you can actually can loop you? around. <gasps> um. Really. The the kid across the street, like literally across the street. Um, had an Intellivision, and that's where I played it. Gotcha. His name was uh, Donny. Donny. Okay, that sounds like a good eighties good eighties friend, name. Friend name, <laughs> yeah. next door neighbor name. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Donny Scott. Uh, what other good neighbor oh, kids' know. names? Um, no, get jump, off! jump. Oh. Um, he had an Intellivision, Girl. and my favorite game to play on his was AD and D. So good. What was Such... AD and D? AD and D, like you're you're going through like an underground Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, AD and D. Yeah, advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, yeah. uh you have arrows and you can shoot them. And you gather arrows and you get treasure and you uncover the the dungeon as you walk through it. Yeah. And you can pick different dungeons at different skill levels. Yeah. It was yes, it was way ahead of its time. Mm. It was such a good game. And so I constantly just played that game when I was over at his yeah. house. I don't even know what other games he had. Because <laughs> what we... was his name again? <laughs> Donnie. You no, watching? I'm just saying. I'm I'm joking. I'm yeah. like, you didn't care. You just wanted to play AD and D. No, we hung out. Yeah. No, oh, I'm just I'm just. <laughs> I had a friend growing up, and she had Nintendo, and I happened to have all three Superman movies um, on VHS, and we just fought constantly because all she ever wanted to do was watch. Um, Superman. What was that? Superman, all day a... long, and all I ever wanted to do was play Super Mario. Yeah. And so we just, we Run. were never, we were never able, able to... Oh, <laughs> oh, God. This is terrible. Never come to an agreement. We can never come to an agreement. She always, we. she's like, can we watch Superman? No. Can we play Super Mario? No. So we, we just always wanted to do the opposite because thing. Because it was the same TV? I... Or was it different It was houses. like it was yeah, different houses. So she would come over and we watch we would watch Superman all the time. So oh, it was in? like yeah, she would come over and watch Superman and I wanted to go over to her house and play and Why Super wouldn't Mario. she just trade and go like, Can I borrow or did she have a sister or something that need wanted to use the Nintendo or No, she just didn't want to play Nintendo. Because it was like her brother's Nintendo oh, or something. Okay. Like she had no interest in it. So I we we just yeah. It was always, it never worked out. No, that oh. was so dumb. That's my last life. Oh, wow. I can never figure out how to play Treasures of Tarman, though. I like Tower of Doom. Mm. Yes. Good? Mm -hmm. Happy? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, challenging. I, I can, this has a lot of replay value, that's for sure. Um, because you know you can do it. <laughs> It's just you're messing up, mm. right? Um, um, but super fun. So you can see why I, I was, I'm was i way better with a joystick. Oh. This game. Like, miles better. It, Has it's, anybody it's made a joystick for this? <laughs> like, to plug in? Like a, For Intellivision? Yeah. Like an aftermarket is it, Intellivision Doesn't control? that defeat the purpose of an Intellivision? Not having the weird disc controller and no, pad? It, it could be a 16-way joystick. Mm -hmm. Or it can be an eight-way joystick that just kind of forgets Averages. the other ones. Yeah, that's yeah. True. Like, just doesn't it's translate It's like a four-way it. controller. It's like, no, you, you was, play this game with a four-way controller. Because I looked it up. Yeah. And there are a number of games that actually use the 16-way. Oh, okay, okay. But they're so... No, you can't disconnect. But if you used it on, like, in Television 2, where you can disconnect mm. it, um, there's lots of aftermarket Coleco controllers... Yeah. And 5200 controllers. But none for with, the Intellivision. Which have these pads. Yeah. But none that I've found. I, I could look more for yeah. it. Yeah, I do need to get the, the little sticky on thing. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. For it. 
But it, like you can plug in ones in the Intellivision too. Yeah. So you have you can have aftermarket. It's just yeah. nobody cares or they're cool with these discs. They're well, just grown up with it, them. It just seems so unique to them. And the 5200, right, had the same. Yeah, because it had an analog controller, right? It's oh, like, I see, I see. That's why it was unique. Okay. But almost none of their games use the analog. It was like left or right or up or, or down. down. Not yeah. half left. Yeah, half right. yeah. But there yeah. were some. Yeah. Um they have they're very weird and i believe they're opposite let me go get the intellivision 2 db9 uh they are i yeah, think it's DB9. like a 12 point molex controller mm. but they're weird they're not what you expect mm. Mm. that one's difficult oh there we go no they're db9 mm-hmm. oh my god yeah so yeah super easy these are everywhere db9s yeah the intelli 2 yeah that is db9 but like if you plugged in like an aftermarket coleco controller would it work um yeah very short they they are very short they were really a console you had to have that's why i brought the table out Mm. because it has to be a console near you yeah yeah because of this they're always trying to snap the controller out of your hand I got to look into that. Um, if I'm going to play in television for any length of time, mm-hmm. I really don't like these controllers. <laughs> and I have aftermarket controllers for every console now. Yeah, except for the Intellivision, obviously. In te- except for the Intellivision, so. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. These are impossible to put back. Embrace too. the controller. No! <laughs> be one with the controllers. No, I don't want to be one with the controllers. <laughs> I want to uh, upgrade the controllers. Oh my god, they're nightmares to put back, too. <laughs> Smush that right in there. Smush that curly cord into that Intellivision 2. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the cartridges I have Mm. for the Intellivision. Pixel. 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 Oh Oh my goodness. What what are you doing? Oh, the bins are coming. We're going to... Move this out of the way? Yeah, we're going to move that. You can put it underneath, maybe. Yeah. Watch out, cats. <laughs> All right, here comes the plastic bin. Gonna put it here? I think so, that'll be easier. All right. Oof. webcam when's the television after dark <laughs> um i wouldn't mind playing uh, either of those games in after dark actually oh, frightening close-up right there where are the cats <laughs> they're scared Please. they ran away come here come say hi there he is oh let's go to the cat cam there he is oh, oh there we go cute kitty oh, there nope, you are. you're off there we go. There's a slight delay. There yeah. he goes. Blinkies. Oh, he's a There are that. ColecoVision carts in here. Yeah. This is my ColecoVision right. 7800 bin. Uh, the bin is television out. bin. Um, this After is not patches for the Intellivision versions of the Activision games. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's I have to do that all over again. Yeah. Okay, we'll turn it this way cuz they're all on the other side. All right. Oh, well, actually, there's an overflow Vectrex, In Sega Master too? System, and the small amount of... I can't um, see when you're... Yeah. There. Uh-oh. Uh, the wheelie fell off. Oh, no. Okay, so... Yeah. I'll take that. So we'll just run through them, because there's so many bloody commons here. Yeah. Um, commons. <laughs> <laughs> Triple action, Space Hawk, Lock and Chase, Space Armada, Astro Smash, Star Strike, Sub Hunt, Armor Battle, Frog Bog, Shark Shark, Sea Battle, Mutt, Night Stalker, times two, Snafu, Snafu, Space Armada, Space Armada, Tron, Mazatron, Star Strike, Space Hawk, so many spaces and Astros. <laughs> Welcome Astro to Smash, the Ace. Tron Deadly Discs, 
uh, Triple Action, Night Stalker, w Electric Company, Word Fun, Math Fun, Math Fun, Burger Time, Horse Racing, Las Vegas, Poker and Blackjack. Here's Advanced D&D. Advanced D&D, Treasure of Tarman, Buzz Bomber. That was one that had voice. Okay. Mission X, Mr. Basic Meets Bits and Bites. Uh, AD&D, this is the game that I played the hell out of right there. That one? Yeah. Space Battle, NASL Soccer. Burger Time is good on the Intellivision? Oh. Well, now I have an Intellivision to actually play them. Mm -hmm. uh, locomotion, Golf, NFL Football, Major League Baseball. They were always very proud of having like official games. They were the first video game company to actually oh, cross license. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, skiing, another baseball, then just baseball. <laughs> Golf, tennis, more baseball, chess, Royal Dealer, Utopia, Reversi, Checkers, Vectron, Motocross, Super Pro Football, Chip Shot, Super Pro Golf. It's not just pro, it's Super Pro. <laughs> uh, Royal Dealer, uh, B-17 Bomber. Oh no, this is the one with voice. What is Buzz Bomber? Anyway. Oh, that's that's like a... a a bee with uh, oh, going to flowers. Oh, crossbow. The gold label carts are the speech games. There right. And a Tron Solar, Solar Sailor. Solar Sailor. Wow. Um, what Fancy is this one? gold labels. I like that. Here's the Activision ones. They look very different. They've mm. got the things just like on the um, on the Atari with the sides, the grips, the Dreadnought Factor. Nice. That's a nice label. Stampede. Very nice. Label. These ones I'll actually show because they have labels. Yeah. Then we get into the um, fancy silver. What's this caught on? Um, Imagic ones. Uh, microsurgeon. Wow. Microsurgeon. Yeah, it's very detailed. You go into a human body and really? fix things. Yeah. That sounds cool. Dragonfire. Very that fun like game. Yeah. We have played that, I think. Uh, Demon Attack. It's a fun game. Activision's 5200 carts are the same design, but just huge. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. And uh, eventually we'll go through all my systems and I'll show them off. Yeah. But today it's in television, getting it out of the way. Um, interfaces. Look at these nice cartridges. Red with a little handle. Mm -hmm. uh, Sewer Sam. Uh, blockade Runner. Oh, the magics are not together. Uh, ice Trek. Hmm. It's Star Trek, except with ice. Let's, let's put all these together, actually. Um, swords and Serpents. That's a nice label, too. Yeah. See, they actually used, yeah, magic one. used them all. Used all the... I've never seen Ice Trek with a black label. <laughs> oh, is that a special one? Where's, where's the Ice Trek again? There we go. Oh, yeah, all the Imagic usually have um, pictures on them. I'll have to look that mm. one up. Is this like an early version, or is why isn't this out of focus? Am it I is too a close? Lot of, maybe. It's having trouble uh, zooming in. Come on. It might be too close. There oh, we that go. was better. Oh, my God, so much better. There we go. Um, yeah, maybe it's an early or late. Is Mine is a silver label text, multi language label. It is multi-language. Oh. Yes. Yes. It could be... Oh, um... this could be PAL. Uh-oh. <laughs> this might not Oops. work. Yeah. Um, Buzz Bombers, NBA Baseball, Locomotion, Blackback and... Uh, poker and Blackjack, NHL Hockey, Bowling, Tennis. Oh, another Magic out of the order. Out of order. Atlantis. Oh, that's nice, too. Yep. They have gorgeous labels in Magic. Really nice labels. Oh. There we go. Back up to here. Uh, there's some Coleco. Uh, Blockade Runner. That's not in the right spot either. We'll keep those out. Uh, another Sewer Sam. Another Sewer Sam. Oh, a lot of Sewer Sams there. I have three Sewer Sams. <laughs> um, so let's move these uh, three over to here. Excuse me. All these sewer Apparently Sams together. Dusty. So I can never buy another one again. No sewer Sams. No more sewer Sams, please. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, this one. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Very nice. By, uh, I think it's Parker Brothers? It doesn't even say. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Right in the back. Parker Brothers. Yep. Canadian specific. I don't think it was Canadian because it had no, German it, on it. It had, it had, it must be a European version. Uh, bowling, tennis, lock and chase. Oops. Sword and Serpents. These are magic ones as well. Yeah, same, same multilingual. Another black label. Mm. Uh-oh. More pal. This might just be French. It might be a Canadian one. You think? And it just happens. And they're reusing... The label? That's possible. The label because they need French on it. And they're like, Maybe. well, our European label You should French pop them it. in and see, Crossbow says. You should. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep Put this one Put them aside. Out. Keep one of them out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one needs to be with the magic. Reorganizing as we go. <laughs> yeah, why not? Inti Bowling was the first video game I ever picked out for myself when I was like five years old. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, there's another Activision. Pitfall. Pitfall. Very nice. And that should go over there. Um, and here is... Sega game. Wow. Carnival for the Intellivision. And a Coleco game for the Intellivision. Oh, Ladybug. Ladybug. There we go. Tron Deadly Discs. Commando, which actually should probably be in plastic because I think that's not very common. Mm. Uh, Bump and Jump. The most boring label ever. Um, Burger Time again. Um, oh. Rando Coleco. There's a Nintendo game for the Intellivision. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. They're all using the same. Like Sega, Coleco, oh, and Coleco are all using the same form factor. Uh, here's my pack of, um, various quality overlays. Mm. Um, so I just keep them together because I don't really use them. Mm -hmm. uh, another burger time. Or is that the same one? Uh, Space Spartans. Uh, what is this? Um, Atari game for Intellivision. Centipede. Ooh. Another Parker Brothers game. Uh, Qbert. Qbert. Yeah, your favorite. Mm. It's Qbert. Imagine doing that on a disc. <laughs> Get that. Be even harder. Yeah. The white labels are from INTV Corp after they bought the rights from ah. Mattel, so they cheaped out. Uh, Vectron. Um, what is that? Plastic. Anyway. Aster Smash. Uh, Bomb Squad. There's some voice. Two Bomb Squads. Two slightly different labels. Uh, Aster Smash again. Boxing, Backgammon, World Series Baseball, Auto Racing, Sharp Shot. AD&D again, Treasure of Tarman, and another just AD&D. Um, so that... Mm -hmm. Here's the kitty. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those are all the um, loose ones uh, that are just carts. Oh. I'm just going to put that down. <laughs> <laughs> Turd Kong. <laughs> You have one of each game, so it would be good to see if they're different in some way. Yeah. I just bought games. As they, as you found them. As I found them, yeah. and I couldn't... I At the beginning, when I bought games, like in the mid-90s, I just did... Do I have this? I don't know. Just buy it. Yeah, yeah. And some I get... So I got doubles. Yeah. Of some games. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll keep Sword and Serpents out. Yeah, that's out there. Just to see if it's French or Pal. Yeah. <laughs> Need Super Pro Wrestling. It's amazing. Yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> no, we won't be doing that. <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, more. See, these are the boxes. <sighs> these are the boxed games. Um, this is a mix, I think, of Different. Atari and Intellivision, but there are a bunch of Intellivisions. Where do you typically buy these games? I buy them in the 90s. <laughs> That's where you bought them. <laughs> Literally, I bought them in the 90s. 
Um, actually, these tub the, these tubs of games. I bought a bunch of Intellivision games probably f five years ago yeah. from a guy, and he had a bunch of a guy. just a guy in a building. A guy, a guy uh, with stuff. Out and the I was back buying something yeah. very specific from him. Yeah. And then he's like, "Hey, I've got some more games." Oh, I remember that. And he brought down like four tubs of games, and I'm like, "I'll take them all because <laughs> I'm an idiot." Wore a trench coat. Yeah. Opened up the side, there were watches, you know. Now, hanging. I don't particularly like cases. Because, you don't you don't go for cases. Because they, they look fall apart. like this, right? They yeah. look like crunched up trash. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're just paper, right? <laughs> what you buying? What you buying? What you got? <laughs> Want a watch? <laughs> <laughs> no watches. So I, I, most of these, I don't think there's anything in here that you have like is, is, is that you haven't really, seen. Yeah. In cartridge form. So here's a bunch of stuff. Oh, this one. Mr. Basic. Uses the keyboard. Oh, right? okay. Which I That's don't. I don't have the keyboard. Cover. Yeah. Very colorful. Mule in a box. <laughs> yeah, I think that is for the NES. It's trash. See, I. Yeah, yeah it's the it NES. is an NES. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, I don't want to throw them away, but I do <laughs> want to throw these away because they're just so useless. Like, look at the trash condition they're in because they just get scrunched. Because people pile them up. Like, some of them yeah. are okay. Like, you look at this one, PGA Golf. Not so bad. It's not bad. It looks fine. But some of them look like a pile of garbage. <laughs> and here's like a. A Taiwan River Raid box made in Taiwan. What is it called? Taiwan Co. or Tai Taiwan something? That's mm. Atari. That's an Atari game. And here's an Activision boxing, which is in like almost perfect condition. So do I keep the ones that are in perfect condition? Yeah. James doesn't know. Frozen. Frozen. Doesn't know what to do with them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say frozen when we're broadcasting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, 2600 uh, strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Ooh. It's in very good condition, but Ooh, so shortcake. I probably wouldn't throw that away. Mm, strawberry shortcake. Um, this, my theory is that the ones one. that look nice were the ones that, that people never actually played. Exactly. I didn't even know I had this. Uh, 5200 rescue on Fractalis. And I think the cartridge is like in here. Is it? Yeah. It feels heavy. Always find something new. Yeah. Anyway, I can't, I'm not going to bring out these boxes because they're all super trashed. Yeah. And it's a big mix of things. Uh, yes, the Rescue on Fractalis is an incredibly impressive game. Taiwan Cooper. Yes, that's the name of it. It's going Taiwan, Taiwan something. So that's box number one. <laughs> it's just a box. Number one. Um, oh, this goes back in there. Let's go to box number two. Which I think are better quality, better, not so squished. It's also a mix. Just all the box games. <laughs> yeah, just all the box games and a bunch in here. So, box number two. Um, some Genesis. Here's all the talking ones. Oh, of course they're backwards. Can you turn it around? Uh, yes, actually. Because <laughs> they're all backwards. Yeah. So instead of taking yeah. them all out individually. And, and flipping them one by one, maybe turn the box around. There you go. Of course, the first ones are backwards. Let's start from the back then. Uh, B-17 Bomber. Nice. I think this actually has, this feels like it has a cartridge in it. It does. Yeah, it does. Oh my so goodness. So this is a mess. There's cartridges. There's not cartridges. Uh, I did. We did go through all these at one point. At one point, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Space no. Spartans, which nice. didn't have a separate cartridge actually. Mm -hmm. I don't remember seeing that one. Uh, Tron Solar Sailor. This nice. has a cartridge in it too. Armor Battle. Major League Baseball. Super common. Star Strike, super common. Another Major League Baseball. <laughs> Another Star Strike, because I need those. <laughs> and. Basketball. Basketball. 
Mattel went a little nuts on their Tron license. A little bit. Didn't they have like three or four games? Like Tron games? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, plays like the real arcade game. Does just it? not all the levels. Yeah. <laughs> um, and television, Donkey Kong. Um, NFL football. And another Donkey Kong in there as well. Um, Mario paint in the box, because I need that. <laughs> Some, oh, there's Dig Dug and Kicks for the 8-bit. Uh, what is this one? Oh, Task Force for the 2600. Yeah. There's some C64 games. Nope, this is Atari. Okay, that's in, Atari. In, in its shrink wrap. Sealed. Very Ooh. nice, very nice. Gateway to Apshai for Atari, one of my favorite games. Uh, at least for the C64, and it looks... That's drawn. That's not real artwork that's not real <laughs> those aren't real screenshots nice. they did that back then because they're like how do we do screenshots oh without, yeah without true. a camera true we just have to take pictures of the screen or we'll just draw them tron mazatron utopia everybody needs mario paint and the mouse <laughs> vegas plat blackjack and poker another one space armada space everything Ooh. sears this is not in television this is for use with the sears video arcade no mention of the atari at all on it wow. it's like you gotta buy the sears version wow yeah That's this doesn't say vcs or 2600 wow. anywhere on here it's like no you buy the sears version that's funny yeah is it in television no it says telegames Oh, is it? Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a gatefold. Sorry. Yeah, anyway, Sears version. Yeah, you are right. My mistake. That's why it doesn't say. Well, it also does not say in television. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> so, say that either. To my, to my point the other way. Uh, NFL football, sub hunt, uh, star strike. There's another Sears version. Mm. NHL Hockey, uh, Sears Super Video Arcade Auto Racing. This is the one. This is this is super, super fun. Is it? Yeah, yeah. With the controller because oh. it has really um, good steering on it. Cool. Uh, with that controller. So did they ever have uh, patches for the Intellivision? <laughs> uh, Activision did. Activision had did. Had patches Ooh, for the Intellivision. Oh, good to know, good to know. Uh, that sounds like it would be 10 times as hard with that controller to oh, get a yeah. patch. Astro Smash. There goes Burger Time. <laughs> Falls through the bottom. Yep. There. You need to catalog everything so you know what you've got. Well, he, you do have I do. catalogs. I do. We did yeah. it once already. Yeah. So I do have an um, Excel spreadsheet. Of all this but it's stuff. more fun to go, well, what do I have again? And open up the bin and see what magic uh, pops out. Frog so. Bog. This is actually That's a really fun game. Pretty. The artwork is gorgeous on these games. Oh, yeah. Look at those beautiful frogs. They're like hand painted or yeah. like watercolor. Yeah, they're really, really nice. It's really nice. Uh, people have artwork hung up of these things, oh, especially Atari stuff. No like doubt. that book that we were talking yeah, about yeah, the other yeah. day. Yeah, it's no doubt. Yeah. Okay, so box number three, time to go to. Aren't all of Atari's boxes the same size, though? I'm pretty sure my 8-bit cart box is the same size as my 2600. Yeah. Doubles and triples are fun, though. Yeah. Big fan of frogs, D-Train yeah. says. Yeah. Frogs are pretty cool. Frogs are pretty cool. So are cats. Pixel, you going to say hi? Mm. Oh, my gosh. There's another bin. I thought he was done. Ugh. It's Lots two time. Yum, 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 yum. Oh. 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 <laughs> we can do um, live treat time. Here. Live treat time? Yeah. You ready? You going to be cute? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Demanding cat. So who... Oh, Crossbow redeemed for treat time. Thank you, Crossbow. The kitties, thank you. Yes. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah. He goes, nom, nom, nom. Swallows it whole, and then he's back to the bell. Oh, no. Try again. 
Good kitty. Good kitty. Oh, he like caught that one in the air. Top down view of tree yeah. time. It's a unique view of tree time. Come on. Ring it. Almost. Good kitty. Good kitty. I don't think he quite understands what makes the noise. Yeah, he just, he just hears the bell. He gets very excited. Pause at it a bit. Yeah. He's like, oh, I heard a bell. Okay, a couple more and that's it. This is much better than the girls in hot tubs. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> what breed is he? He's 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 a non-breed. He's he was a rescue cat. He's a mutt. He's sort of a gray tabby, but then he definitely has kind of a beigey colored belly, so I think he's got to be a mix with uh he reminds me of like Burmese and um oh, what's that other pen cat? E Egyptian cats? Yeah. Um Siamese cats. As far as his coloring. Fatari. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fatari. He will become Fatari. Okay. All right. Good kitties. Good kitties. Good kitties. Yeah. So, box number three. Uh, A Burmese I think python. Yeah. <laughs> there's Microsurgeon. Look at a Magic's boxes. Oh, they're so cool. They're like Look at that. So shiny. I kind of want to play that game. I want to so know what that's take a about. Look at, like, there's the face. Oh my god. Look how detailed that. That's terrifying. It is it's extremely terrifying. <laughs> it's really terrifying. <laughs> oh, M Souza 3D. Thank you for following. Yes. So you can see where they're having trouble. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Lungs are critical. Heart is critical. <laughs> in, in a serious infection. The brain's okay though. Yep. Oh, the TI version has uh, speech on it. Oh, oh very cool. Cool. Um, I don't think this is in television. Oh, for in television, Tandy Vision. And sees super video. Okay. Never heard of Tandy Vision. Arcade game series. So, Frogger, that That's is in nice television. That's a nice box, actually. That's a nice size. I box. love. See, this is the kind of box that you want to make. Like, this does not fall apart. Look at that. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah. What a terrified looking frog. Yeah, he's not having a good day. No, no kidding. <laughs> he does look like Jason Alexander, though. <laughs> does he? Yeah. Trying to get across the road. Trying, trying to get, to get across, his ro across the, the road with his arcade. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Demon Attack. Very nice version of Demon nice. Attack. Nice. <laughs> uh, those. Those look drawn again. Mm. Maybe not. Look at that cover. Look how shiny Look at the is. things on the cover. I know. Those. What on earth are those? <laughs> They're like. Uh, what are those dinosaurs? Fish dinosaurs. They're like shiny metal dinosaurs flying through the sky. <laughs> so good. That's insane. It's in Magic's Beauty and the Beast. Look at that crazy, like, clay mation. <gasps> they did it all in clay. That's what it looks like. Look at that craziness. That could only come from the 80s. No kidding. Toy dinos with rocket parts glued to them. Exactly. Look at that a magic sign up there. Wow. That's so awesome. They're just so great. Uh, the yep. covers and the art. Magic is what? It's not related to Mattel. <laughs> okay. Doesn't look like a screenshot, but it, <laughs> but it kind of does at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it does. Yeah. Love the shininess. Um, sea battle. Oh, and your favorite. Boo. No. <laughs> Qbert. I don't hate Qbert, but no. it's not my favorite game. Uh, this still has the. It's hang, hard to hate Qbert because Qbert is kind of kind of cute. He is. Yeah. Uh, I just diagonal movement, like come on. Yeah. Uh, I think all the bottom ones... Oh, there's one more here that's uh, in television, I believe. Oh, no, it's Atari 8-Bit with the exact same yeah. monsters on the front. MC's a 3D. I moved from Brazil to Canada and, and uh, bring some Intellivision cartridges with me. I had to sell my consoles but save some of the cartridges. There you go. Yes, the mythical um, 
Brazilian cartridges. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, because they all all the leftover cartridges got shipped to South America when the market fell out here. Oh. So there's a huge number of cr- cartridges in in uh South America. So, Sold in South America, yeah. So like, I don't know, 10 years ago, there was people discovered that there was tons there and they all got shipped back to North America <laughs> to all the collectors. That's funny. Uh that's for the 2600. Title match pro wrestling for oh, the 2600. Sealed probably from South America. Yeah. <laughs> BMX Air Master for it says 7800, but it says 2600, mm-hmm. so it's definitely 2600. I think this is Oh, it's in television Worm Whomper. Interesting. Yeah. Using uh what is the name of that? American Gothic. American Gothic. Mm-hmm. And apparently I learned the other day that's his daughter, not the wife. Oh really? Yes. In the in the image. In the image. In the yeah. painting, yeah. Uh that is for Atari twenty six hundred reactor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By Grant Wood. There. there we go. A little bit more information. Retro scene in Brazil is huge, yeah. yes. Yeah, Canada is much smaller. <laughs> yeah, try and find Sega Master System things in Canada. It's just impossible. Impossible, yeah. Like, I just gave up a long time ago trying to collect that here. Uh, we should be good. Yep. So there is the entirety of my mm-hmm. Intellivision collection, which is not small and not organized <laughs> too much. Well, we now have the ability to play some of those games. Do some we do, uh, in a proper form. After Dark and uh, yeah, get some patches <laughs> on impossible systems, especially yeah, exactly. in Magic. Oh my God, Magic's impossible. There we go. So hopefully that was entertaining. <laughs> it was entertaining for me. I never. I, this is the first time I played an in Intellivision. I've always marveled at that gold disc and the controller and like. Why are there numbers? I don't understand why are there numbers. <laughs> um, but I never really played it, so, mm. yeah. Oh, another Canadian streamer that I follow has quite a bit of Master, Master System. System. It's among her favorites. Oh. They are they are very unique, the Sega Master System games. games. Yeah. Check your Facebook PM real quick. Oh, did you send something else? He did. What did he send? Oh, that is the Radio Shack Tandy Vision 1. Wow. So let me just show that to people. Um, who knew who knew oh it's oh it's nice too i i think i do prefer the gold but that's wood paneling like was it was a real thing in the eighties. i showed that yeah oh okay <laughs> weird yeah Original. wood paneling was everything in everything video games like for that everything. for that brief period in like the late 70s early 80s it was all yeah. wood paneling and then it quickly shifted to Florals and pastels, and, and stenciling, and um, borders around rooms, and floral wallpaper. Tear it all down. <laughs> oh, yeah, those are the days. So let's check out what is coming up on the show because there is some serious stuff coming up. Some good stuff. Uh, that looks. Pretty good. Might be a bit small. That's right. Wood paneling to fit in with the decor in the den. Okay. So, what's coming up on the, on the stream? Today we're playing in television, right there. <laughs> yes. Um, next, on Tuesday, we're going to be playing 2600 games. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of catching up on some games. Okay. Playing Coneball, ISS, Lawn Boy. Probably, like, these are fairly small games. Yeah. Um, say hello. Come say hello. Oh, hi. oh, he's mad at me. He doesn't want to be picked up. And probably play, add one more in there, and mm-hmm. maybe even do an after dark. Oh, okay. Maybe for we a patch. Done, we haven't done an after dark in a while, so. No, for a patch, probably, maybe Star Master. I don't know. Um, the Prince of Persia release has been delayed for eight mm. bit, so I've pushed that to the nineteen. Um, it might be delayed even more. You don't want my water. No, 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 no. <laughs> Cat water. He's like, I'm going to make it cat water. No, he rubs up against it. Yeah. And tips it over. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, Crossbow got his physical part of uh, card of Flob today. That's yeah. awesome. It's such a good game. Shrinkwrapped. Shrinkwrapped. 
you don't have to open it because they release it fully. Non-savable, though. Oh, I see. So you want the cartridge. I think it's... No, there is a savable version. Um, the big thing is Halloween. Halloween. We're, we have an exclusive secret woe premiere from, from Mick, Mick Muse. Oh, sorry. Mick Muse. Mick, Mick, Mick Muse. Mick Crocker. Yeah. Excellent. So that is very exciting. Um, that is a 2600 game. I, I don't think he's even told me what it is. Hmm. Has he? I don't think he has. No, it'd be secret for me, maybe. He might keep it from me. We'll see. Uh, then I have like Last Stand, Dead Works, Halloween 3, uh, probably some other games as well. Kidding. Um, and then there's some a lot of big things coming up. Uh, we have the exclusive world premieres of some 8-bit games. Wow. Um, slash 5200. Very cool. Uh, from Eric Ansch Anschutz. Oh, I better get that pronunciation. I better ask him. Robert Anschutz and John Weisgerber. Yeah. They are updating their games from the 80s that they programmed in oh. BASIC. And they're updating them using assembly and redoing their games now. Really? And they're releasing 14 of them throughout this year. So these were games that were released like... In the 80s. In the 80s as games that people could buy. Uh, I think they released them in magazines to type in. Oh. Or to buy the discs or something. I'll okay. get more information. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, and so they're updating them and modernizing them and adding some stuff into them. That's cool. So we'll be talking with them and we'll be playing some ones that they haven't released yet. So we'll get them early and yeah. we'll show people what's coming up. Because they're releasing like one every month or one every three weeks throughout this whole year. Um, then, and that's in November sometime. I think it's about late November. We haven't... Uh, uh, nailed it down yet. Then we have another exclusive Secret World premiere from Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster. That's going to be in December sometime, along with an interview as well. We'll be interviewing um, those guys up here as well, cool. all three of them. Oh, that's so cool. Um, also in December, we're going to release the Zero Page Homebrew, the game. Yeah. Uh, we'll be playing it. We'll also be doing a giveaway of the game nice. on cartridge because yep. we're going to do a very limited run of it. Okay. And and then after the after that, we'll be putting it out, like just giving it away for free. Cool. The, the like the ROM. The ROM. But there will be a limited run of like ten made. Nice. For the actual card. For the actual card. That's very very cool. Uh, then at some point we don't know when that will be. We'll also have an exclusive Secret World premiere. Uh, so you guys won't know what it is for that one either. Uh, from M K Smith, mm. from Matt Smith. Um. So tons of secret games and fun interviews. And we'll be interviewing him as well on the show for that. Mm. Um, then we're going to have, in February, the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards presentation. I've yes. almost got all the people, all the nomination committee is almost signed up now. Oh, so you know the that. people who are going to do the Who the narrowing down. Excellent, so excellent. So narrowing down to six in each category. Nice. So you guys can vote on it. Yeah. Um, in late January. Mm. So they'll be doing that in early January. Um, oh, I also added in... What did I add in? Well, I didn't add it in, did I? Um, we're going to be doing um, a Vectrex stream. We're also going to be doing a light gun stream separate. So we're doing light gun games for 2600, 7800... I like bit. that. Yeah, that's cool. So we're cool. going to have the Commodore monitors there. Yeah, nice. Like, like here or yeah. somewhere. And a camera pointed at it. Nice. Um, so you'll be able to see what we're seeing. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. That is really cool. Um, at some point, we're also going to do a four-player day where we're going to play all the four-player games on this different systems and have like a tournament. Yeah, we do need to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm excited um, for that. And we'll have... Darcy here, mm -hmm. and maybe Erwin. <gasps> maybe. Ooh, we'll see. That's exciting. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we'll have a holiday homebrew special as well sometime in late December. Okay. Um, at least playing Christmas Salvo. I don't know what else. Usually that's a lot harder than the Halloween to find uh, holiday yeah, games. Yeah, I mean, Halloween is so popular, and there's a lot of spooky games. So Tons. even if they're not Halloween-specific, they're like horror, 
Halloween adjacent, like mm -hmm. like lots of ghosts and there's, spooky things, and yeah. There's definitely less, um, like Christmas ones. There's less snow based ones. Yeah. Yeah. Things around like the the winter seasons. There's yeah. not as many as uh, there although are. Although I guess like Pengo, you could loosely apply, Ooh. right? Like yeah. anything with ice or snow, you yeah. can kind of make that work. But so. now that we've opened up to seven eight hundred in uh, Atari eight bit, yeah, we can incorporate their huge library. So yeah. that helps a lot with yeah. the upcoming Halloweens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. upcoming uh, holiday yeah. specials. Yeah, there's a lot well. more. Yeah. <laughs> Real sports curling. <laughs> Activision. Oh, it has to be homebrew. Yeah. Has to be homebrew. Oh yes, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Real sports curling is a uh, Christmas game, and it is homebrew. Yeah. So if I get my um, fifty-two hundred done by then, which I fully hope to get it uh, upgraded by then, mm. we can um, ski on the joy board. I don't have a joy board. Um, I do have games, but I don't have a joy board. It's it's a balancing board. Oh really? For oh, the twenty six hundred. Cool. That sounds cool. Made by Amiga, I believe. Really? If I'm not mistaken. It's a balance board. Yeah, and somebody actually made a meditation game. Oh, with of course, it. kind of like the Wii Fit, and right? You sat uh, cross-legged. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, People are so funny. That is so yep. funny. Joy board. Get it one for Christmas. Thank you, the D train. There it is. <laughs> Amiga oh, Joy wow. Board. Yeah, Christmas. Good luck. I don't know how easy it is to find that. Ah, I wouldn't think that easy. It doesn't look like it would have been Let's see. very too, popular. Too popular. Yeah. Yeah. Joy Board is a balanced board peripheral for the Atari 2600. So just when you think like Nintendo is being unique with their Wii Fit, <laughs> no. it's like, no, that was created in 1982. Like, maybe not exactly, but the, the concept existed long before that came out. So. Oh, yeah. So what that's game hilarious. was it? Guru uh, Meditation? Is oh, that that's, there? that's the homebrew. Uh, Mogul Maniac. Yeah, that's what... And I believe I have that for the 2600. Made by oh. Amiga, which is crazy. Um, uh, and that is... Oh, Surf's Up was developed but not released. I have a joy board for complete in blocks. The plastic's so brittle after all these years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you're supposed to stand on it. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, the, the D-Train found one for Christmas yeah. for you. Oh, excellent. Send it on over. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to see on eBay how much, or even if there has well, been one listed at all. He linked it there. He li linked oh, it on eBay. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Is that the one you bought? Sounds like a trip to the ER waiting to happen. It does. <laughs> well, it's not as outrageous as I thought. Oh, it comes with the game, too. Oh, um, $100. U.S. I U.S. Show that? Yeah, I can show that. $100 U.S. Uh, comes with Mogul Maniac. I do have that game. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I recognize that. Funny. Um, but that's active. That doesn't mean that's what they go for. Um, joy board so let's see if sold items has any let's just go completed no no just doesn't exist oh i just put joy board that might not be enough ah not twenty six thousand. <laughs> oh there's tons of them 150 70 so 150 70 this is us yeah 77, 119. So actually, 99 is yeah, not not crazy. Outrageous. This one's in the box. Is yeah, this the one you got? <laughs> um, Grand Trooper. Um, Granted, in the August game is common. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the board, you know, the board isn't. So this is, oh, this is completed. That's not even what they sold for. That one did. That's 15 bids. Mm. Let's go to sold. Oh, yep. Yeah. So this did sell. Mm. 150, sold, sold, sold. This comes with tons of stuff. Oh, should have bought this one. Oh, where is all the stuff? Yes, I know it's closed. Oh, where's the picture? Is it just at the top? Oh. No. Yep, yep, oh. yep. So what did it come with? Oh. Oh, flight yoke. And some dirt common paddles. <laughs> uh, a joystick that fits over a another joystick that that'd be cool i don't have that and now for for the next of episode of zero page james shops ebay <laughs> that's right buying atari things yes yeah. 
on Twitch. <laughs> uh, I mean, some joysticks, meh, meh, meh. That would be cool. I have one of those. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't have that. That's different. I think that goes up and down and twists. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, how much did this go for? Yeah, that to get all that stuff with it, that's okay. Mm. Oh, Omega Racer controller add-on. That's what it is. Yeah. That one. So you can have an extra button on the trigger and on the base, and they're separate buttons. <laughs> the two chain. James talks about all the things that he did not, but is thinking about buying <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> yes, that's the next episode. <laughs> I would watch cool. that. That would be pretty mm, fun. Let's see. How yeah. much is that? I'll <laughs> put it yeah. on my watch list. Yeah. And... What do you guys think? Well, <laughs> I would pay ten dollars more, but <laughs> that's right. but you might not be willing. And yeah, yeah that's that'd be pretty funny. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Well, uh, Tanya sits by and does her nails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> James shops eBay. Lots I do of my fun. nails. Yeah. Good times. Mm, okay. I think that's it. Uh, thanks yeah. for watching. That was a lot of fun playing in television. <laughs> yeah. This is the best channel if we shopped eBay. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching D train, uh, Atari 26. You should not trust. <laughs> yeah. them. They'll just go buy it. Yeah. yeah buy that too. Yeah. That's yeah. a great price. Buy it. Buy it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, yes. Oh, it went away. It disappeared. Oh, no. But we did kind of get the last. Uh, you, yeah, we didn't We didn't say what it finished as. Um. Oh, 40%. Sadly, no. Sadly, oh, no, I don't so have sad. it. 40% uh, of you don't have Intellivisions. 33. One out of three people has an Intellivision. Nice. Uh, 20. 20% had one as a kid. One out of five. Yeah. And, oh, one person actually voted for... Did you mispronounce Atari? <laughs> That's cool. Who voted for that? Um, <laughs> Pretty sure that was the D train. I saw him sn yeah. sneak in the four. <laughs> Crossbow says the Intellivision looked really good through your, looked good through your setup it did. tonight. It looked yeah. perfect. Yeah. Like crisp. Bright, crisp, very, very that, vibrant colors. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for branching out into a television homebrew tonight. Yeah, I wanted yeah. I've been wanting to do it for a very long time. It's the whole reason I updated it for Crossbow. And your friend really loves in television, so when they come by next year, oh yeah, for our game night, yes. they're gonna be like, "Wow, this looks so good." Yeah. No, she <laughs> yes. won't. Yeah. She'll be like, Meh. "No, she'll play it. She'll be very excited." Yeah. So yeah, I do have five of them. Um, I should upgrade one of my small ones to something just like a uh, like composite output or something like a really easy uh, mod yeah. on one of the small ones. Yeah, especially if they're aftermarket joysticks. Yeah. Because then I can actually play it properly. Hmm. Not with the pad. But true. I'll look into yes, that. Yes, you can plug it in. Yeah, true, true, true. Oh, uh, the composite on the Tele 2 looks like crap. Don't do it! <laughs> I'll upgrade it to S video then. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching Crossbow, Charles Whelan, to D Train, Nostalgia, Ground Trooper, Vitoko. Uh, Atari 2600 dude. Atari 2600 dude. D Train, Phaser Cat Games. Uh, M. Souza 3D. Yeah, Thanks for, for following. Yeah. Joining us and following. Uh, Metal Lunar 7. Carl G. Dan AVC. Um, who else? Looking for uh, unique names. Kaffman 2D. Probably said that. Quite a few Dan chatters AVC. in there, which yeah, is great. Lots of yeah. chat. So thanks for joining yes. us. Uh, remember. Uh, come back on Tuesday for some more 2600 yes. games. We're back to back to Atari. Um, one night we'll do a Coleco Vision sure. stream, and we're gonna do a Vectrex stream Vectrex. as well. I'm really excited for Vectrex. I just yep. we'll play a bunch of homebrew it's Vectrex. It's so games. crazy. I just I love the Vectrex yeah. system. It's hard not to just fall in love with that system. Oh, it's Dan so actually liked looking at the boxes. Good. Yes. It was a waste of time. Well, it's so it's so nice to see the art. You don't always get to see that, right? Like the yeah. on the on the boxes themselves. So fun show, even for a non INTV there guy. There you go. I'm I'm not really an into a television person either. Yeah. Oh, but I do like some. Things I'm on not it. an Intellivision person. <laughs> I only have five of oh, them. Oh, by the way, here are my three <laughs> bins of Intellivision games. <laughs> it's, it's lower on my totem pole. I have way more twenty six hundred games. Like way more. Yeah, one day he'll have to pull all those out. So. Oh, and then we'll we'll do a fifty two hundred stream as well. Yeah. And we'll actually incorporate that in. That's when I upgrade it. Yeah. And I'll show off my fifty two hundred games. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So tune in uh, on Tuesday. 
uh, when we play some 2600 Yay. games. So everybody have a good weekend. Yeah. Canadians have a good long weekend and That's a happy right. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Happy yeah. Canadian Thanksgiving. Canadian Thanksgiving. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.